Hello everyone and welcome to the Community Spotlight. Uh, we have a special edition today. Usually we have our votes, but we've got Badger coming back from HDQ. Could be showing us a little bit different of a run than what you saw at HDQ this year. But before we get too much into what we're doing today, do have a few quick announcements. Uh, make sure you tune in tomorrow for Time Capsule. We're done with 1996. So Time Capsule is going to be doing 2009. And if you're not familiar, Time Capsule is a show at 8 p.m. Eastern on every other Tuesday where they go over speed runs of games that all came out in the same year. So they're going to have a bunch of games from 2009. And of course, later this month, Frame Fatale, a.k.a. Frost Fatales, is going to be running from the 23rd through the 29th, the all-woman speedrunning event benefiting Malala Fund. And that'll be also very much worth checking out. So, Badger, how are you doing today? Yo, what's up, AGDQ? I'm back! Oh no, just GDQ, not AGDQ. <laughs> oh my god, how am I doing? Real good? I am so excited! <laughs> <laughs> I am bursting! I'm I'm freaking out over here. Hi, GDQ. It's good to see you. My name is William. I am Badger. I am so stoked to be here with you. Thanks for being part of my life. Thanks for making GDQ awesome. Did you guys know that GDQ was one of the... was well, During AGDQ, GDQ was the most subscribed channel on all of Twitch. That is freaking epic <laughs> thanks to everybody who's been subscribing already you're amazing i love you i can't wait to show you another shot at terraria i know i kind of you know i did a thing last time it didn't really go super well uh <laughs> it was so. it was very amusing though uh so why don't you give viewers who are not sure what we're doing here today why don't you explain this category that for people who are not familiar with the uh, terraria runs mm. Great question. So this is a much longer version of the Terraria speedruns. Uh, this is the glitchless, or as we call it, no major abuses run. Uh, so there's no duplication, there is no big skips and things like that. We're playing it much more in a uh, very, how the game was meant to be played type of way. It's a big boy category, exactly, Primal Duality. That's exactly what it is. So it's a lot more difficult, it's a lot more punishing. Uh, th this category in particular, I decided to run because it's going to give you all a good idea of what the very beginning of the game looks like and all the bosses in pre-hard mode, which is, this is all bosses. We're playing on the expert difficulty, which means that all, dam all enemies do double damage. They have more HP. They have more defense. Uh, bosses in the run are going to have in uh, better AI. They're going to act differently. They're going to have more damage. They're going to have more defense. And very often, they're actually going to change... Uh, the way they, they work as they take damage. And on top of all that, we're doing it on a random seed. So this seed was just regenerated. I have no idea what it's going to look like. Nobody does. And we have to make the best of what we possibly can. We're only, we're only going to get one shot at this, all right? Just like GDQ, speedrun of a different type. When we go into this, it could be terrible. It could be incredible. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So... One quick question before we get started. How does the extra loot and expert factor into this run? Is there stuff you really want to see? In particular, in the very beginning, if we can get a, something called the Shield of Cthulhu, it is an expert-only drop that massively increases our mobility and allows us to manipulate uh, invincibility frames in such a way that will, if I use it right, I can actually stop myself from taking damage in situations I wish to take damage. So that is a big one. Uh, in general, though, Expert is focused on not making the game harder with, or sorry, not making the game easier with that loot. So the loot isn't super great. A lot of time we just throw it away, actually. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else you want to cover before we get started? Or you just want to jump right into it? Oh, man, you, you know me. <laughs> uh, what do you want to say? Uh, I, I guess I, the, my biggest talking point I guess that we should do now before I start trying my best on this run is thank you for doing good. Thanks, thanks for being part of GDQ. Thanks for being part of the community. Thanks for being part of Twitch. Uh, you all make people's lives better. Thanks for all the insane support that happened during AGDQ. I, it, I really appreciate you. Whew, okay. You ready? I'm ready when you are. Okay, let's do this. Okay. All right. Okay, so timing in Tari starts uh, with a fresh character and a fresh world. Uh, we're already looking at RNG here. Okay, so this is a totally unseater and I have no idea what we're looking at. We have small trees. No big wood. Primarily new. No big wood. Zero big wood available. Uh, so we're, we need wood here. It's a building material. We we'll need to make uh, houses and stuff like that. So there's so much going on in this run. I'll, I'll try to break down the, the basic precepts here. Uh, on an anime run, what you're really looking for is a couple things. Mobility. Offense. 
and defense. Oh, okay, we already got wrecked by slime. Okay, we, we're already in a bad start here. We actually found the ice biome first. Uh, we really want to be staying away from that because, wow, chat, you guys have so much energy right now. It's incredible to see. Thanks for being so freaking active. Let's go the other way. Walk in the other direction. We've already started off right. <laughs> uh, we want to go to the jungle. The jungle is actually a higher level area. In the jungle, there's enemies who hit harder. They do special debuffs. Uh, they move fast. Uh, they have huge HP pools. And we're going to go there, and we're going to die repeatedly or not die at all. It just depends. Oh, this is a great story. Okay, just kidding. I take it back. This is looking good. We have a cave already. Uh, th those enemies are very dangerous, but there's a huge payout if we can do it right. We're going to be looking for uh, hit points in there. We're going to be looking for equipment. Uh, this this is a good start. So this is what this is a cave as it generates. This is one of the big things that speedrunners are looking for at the start. They can have an incredibly high amount of loot at the very beginning. Oh, this is weird. There's water in here. That's odd. Uh, so this there's a brown chest there. Brown chests have a certain loot table. That's not incredible, but it does have a lot of really good things going on. Uh, quickly, you'll probably notice that there is a lot of inventory management in this game. Uh, Terraria requires you to do a lot of very precise clicking on on top of being able to do boss fights and remember memorize patterns uh and as well as having to react to all the things that are going on okay so now we're already in a, in a dangerous area you can see the background here changed changed <laughs> changed oh no this is terrible <laughs> oh this is the worst thing that could happen no uh so the the way the generation oh, oh wait 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 what do we got some come on come on come on give me something here uh the way the generation yes okay this prana could murder me this is a house this is exactly what we want okay a double jump that's huge okay Great, this will help us prevent fall damage. So we don't know what's going to happen, all right? When we run into what we get, I don't know. Uh, it's What the heck? Oh, my God, there's a boulder. No, we're fine. All right, uh, so this is a, a special biome here that's specifically full of traps. And uh, it's it's a bit dangerous, but also usually it has good loot for us. We're already, this is very, this, this seed is really weird already. Uh, we did a lot of practice runs for this today. Come on, give me a hook. This enemy has a possibility of, what? Of dropping an item? It just dropped a rare item <laughs> instead of the item I wanted. Uh, there's a possibility of dropping us a hook, which is a really good mobility item. That's another boulder. Those those do about 200 HP worth of damage. We have about 100 HP right now. Okay, some sapphires. Oh, we're looking for gems. Uh, seated restart compass. I know, right? Restart. <laughs> it's running as a roller coaster. It's gonna get worse. Wait until we get into our first boss fight. It's the the, the, the this run is whoa. Hello. Okay, I need that lead. Uh, I need to be able to get up to it though. So six sapphires. You need 15 of them in order to be able to get a hook. A hook is seriously huge for us. It'll help a ton. It'll uh. It'll go from us being extremely immobile to massively mobile. It's like one of the biggest... Oh, this is dangerous. This is a detonator. It'll do hundreds of damage. No! What? Oh, my God! I'm, I got hit by the silt. It fell on me, and it gave me an iframe, which prevented me from taking damage for a very short period of time, and then I, I accidentally hit the detonator, which would have killed oh me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't die because I took damage with the heck? Clip! What? What in the world? All right, there's not much over here. We got all the lead, though. Wow, this is going well. Okay, let's go back. Uh, I'm actually going to go to the ice biome. <laughs> what the heck? Hey, Dance Dad, it's so great to see you, man. I hope you're doing well. It was really good to meet you at AGDQ. Uh, absolute pleasure. Thanks for keeping the hype up during AGDQ. You're amazing. Okay, uh, we have some decent potions. We're going to the ice biome. It's a bit of a risk. Uh, that, that dungeon did not... or Sorry, that cave did not work out great because it actually had... Um, it, it generated the cave, and then in the, so Tara generates in phases, and uh, the the thing that happened to it was that one of the phases actually forced it to be covered up, uh, and that actually took away a bunch of our loot. Oh, no, we're going to the Crimson Biome. Uh, took away a bunch of our loot and made it really difficult. This is not on Perro Death, Yo-Yo Epereo. We're just on Soft Core, so if we die, we're set back, but we're not permanently dead. I would love to bring a hardcore run to AGDQ. Uh, obviously, or sorry, I keep saying AGDQ. Uh, GQ, but obviously there's a little bit of a, some issues there. If I die, what, do, what the heck can we do? Uh, but I, I would like to see that in the future. So, so uh, this is the Crimson Biome. For these runs, Sorry. do you prefer to see Crimson or Corruption? Uh, so we actually can select. Uh, I prefer Crimson a lot, uh, though the Terraria community is massively... Does, does this runner breathe? No. Massively divided on that. Uh, a lot of people prefer Corruption. I prefer Crimson. I've always preferred Crimson. Uh, Crimson is a lot easier to navigate, in my opinion. Uh, the boss is a bit more difficult, but I but I find it worthwhile, uh, the early game, because the early game is so important for dictating whether you're going to be able to carry on or not. So I try to focus on that. Uh, the bosses are, the enemy is, uh, the enemies are creepier, that's for sure. Actually, the first time I fought, man, this is good. So this is another cave generated. Now, this is going to be a weird one, because this is going to bring us into the crimson. That could be really good, could be really bad. Yeah, this is, okay. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, so you can see this. So these two things generated on top of each other. 
uh, small worlds that were godly spear. Okay, uh, there's modifiers just like Diablo on all the items, so you can get a broken one or you can get a godly one. Godly one is actually not the best prefix we could have gotten, but it's pretty decent. Uh, you can see me doing a lot of platform jumping here. I'm just placing a platform. Been... <gasps> okay, so normally these orbs are protected by crimson, which is not destroyable by my pickaxe. But since the world generated in a buggy way, there's two right here that I can break no problem. And this will give me a new gun. It'll give me some new equipment. Oh, God, please. Wait, place this. <laughs> okay, come on. Uh, okay, I gotta make a hammer. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we either break these. The first loot is always the same. What's wrong with them? Lots of things, don't worry. Hey, Dizzy, what's up, man? It's good to see you. Hacks for days. Yeah, I, this is not seated. It's seated. All right. I knew chat was going to call me. Okay, great. We had the two best items. <laughs> we got the Crimson Rod first drop. That's amazing. Okay, we're back in the ice biome. I forgot I had a double jump. There's a trap here. This is the... Oh! Oh, my God. That dodge. Okay, this is one of the most important items in the run, a ruby. Uh, if we didn't get a ruby during the run, we straight up wouldn't be able to complete it, which would be impossible because of one of the enemies, uh, the King Slime, which is one of the bosses that we have to hit. So not only did we just find this through the crim, which generated over each other, got two items, then we walked into an area which had an absolutely crucial item that we needed. Feels good, man. Thank you, Seed. Okay, we just have to find some HP. We're still only 100. Pretty much two hits from most enemies will kill us right now. Oh. So this enemy has a stun as well. Great, right? Cool story. No, no! See, 53 out of my 100 HP. So this is the issue. We're really weak, and enemies are really strong. Yes! Four bombs, not bad. Dang it, this is, this is not good. Uh, my luck is insane. I know, right, Donald? <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, this is not good, actually. We have to go back, I think. Five bombs is not terrible. Uh, I'm going to go for Meteorite Strat, I think. This is what they're looking like. We have a really close crim. Uh, that'll let us get that Meteorite really well. The, the big issue here right now is actually how low our HP is. If we Even if we have Meteorite, a good weapon and good armor is what Meteorite will get us. Even if we end up with that, we won't be able to capitalize that on because we have so little HP. Okay, we, we're, we have a couple issues here. We don't have bombs. Uh, we have some grenades. We're low on HP. No hook. So we're. I, I would say that this is this has been an intense seven minutes. It's it's certainly possible with what happens in the next seven. If we get some some good luck, we can find some nice, nice houses. Uh, well, yeah, Jungle for Hearts is probably the plan in Nethera Hill. Uh, the jungle is amazing. Uh, one of the things that you want to do is, is cover ground. Build a house for demo. I know we don't have a house right now. Uh, all the houses that we found were kind of weird and then ice biome and stuff like that. What the heck? What is this, a water world? What's going on here? Umbrella. Is there uh, anything that you'd like to see from breaking the orbs in the Crimson, or is not most of those items just not useful to you? There is... Uh, it's actually like... We could roll a really good item, or we could roll a terrible item. <laughs> so yeah. It's like it's like really 50-50, which is pretty brutal. The spear would have been okay. The crim rod that we have, and the gun. Now, the gun is actually 100% drop rate. Oh, hey. 100% uh, drop rate. So that's not actually supposed to happen, <laughs> those, those chests. Uh, th that's, a, that's a chest that normally uh, generates underground. Well, it generates on the surface plenty. It's, it's a bit weird. Uh, Th those water chests are so, so sometimes we can get them good uh the, the, i think that probably the best thing i could have got from the crim yeah i think the best thing we could have got is actually what we got the crim rod uh I, when we break one more the boss will spawn and try to kill us shoot uh so i couldn't actually break one more when i was down there okay more brown chests. so this is an extremely dangerous area all enemies do tons of damage spawn rate is also increased here so you can't even just hope to block the enemies in there's so many of them and they'll be coming so fast um, and about two hits um, for most things will kill us. Sometimes one. Oh, there's a heart there. Thank you. Yes, plan to seed it. Uh, oh, oh, jungle roast. It doesn't do anything, but I like it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of my favorite vanity items. You can see I have a pretty rose on my hair now. I, it's 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 one of those things. Uh, I have I have some attachments to items in this game that are totally like just pointless. <laughs> I just really like them a lot. Uh, and the jungle rose actually just comes from. It's actually impossible to get like, via seed. The only way you can get it. Is just by breaking things. Don't don't use the bedroom voice. Oh, but I really like doing this voice sometimes. Uh, so, so bombs are the best way for us to travel. We don't want to dig whenever we can. Uh, the, it's very slow. The, the pickaxe that we get at the very start is a huge issue. Uh, and we want to try to upgrade as quickly as we can. And bombs are really the best way to do that. What do we get? Boomstick. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Very good. Oh, my flippers. Uh, Boomstick is a huge upgrade to our current weapon, the Undertaker. 
uh, is actually one of the most run speedrun strats in NMA to just try to find one of these. <laughs> Seen it! <laughs> Confirmed! Uh, so yeah, their first chest, pretty much their first chest we checked in the jungle had <laughs> the boomstick in it. I, I'm gonna get in trouble for this. I'm, I'm glad I'm a speedrun.com moderator for this game because I actually might ban myself for this run. Uh, this is kind of spooky. Man, this is a lot of water. We have another house down here. Now, this house generated without back walls. And, and that is a, a, a bit of an issue in that we can't make it into a house. I would love to make a house right now for this. Yeah, I know. All the practice runs were not this good. And now suddenly we're here. It's just nuts. This world is ridiculous. I know, Dizzy. It's crazy. Badger video splicing. Real cool. Tell them I'm not cheating. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> they watched you generate the world. <laughs> right? I showed you the seed and everything. I don't know what's going on here. How is this possible? Aren't you, baby? Uh, another double jump. That's not... Okay, it's an upgrade to our double jump. Uh, so again, the modifiers are there. Modifiers for accessories are... Uh, range from defensive to offensive, but they're usually just percentile increases increases for defense. Like, uh, well, warding gives you plus four armor, but or sorry, the percentile. Actually, no, there's a, there's a huge variance in them, isn't there? They they can do a lot of things. Mostly, what we want is is armor or damage right now. Uh, and then we got an armor one right here, which is two. So it's, the, it's uh, okay. This is all right. So so these enemies here, these are hornets. They're very strong. Uh, the way that they do attacks is actually by predicting the player's movement. So they do a calculation as they're looking at you about where they think you're going to be, not where you're at. And that makes them pretty annoying to dodge. You have to know when they're going to fire their stinger in order to effectively dodge them. And it can be kind of hard to do because they just do it at random. They, they And they're super small too. This, okay, this is bad. I could get hit twice here and that's we're dead. And then we have to make the entire walk back, and that, that can make or break a run. You can have the best seed in the whole world like we do right now. And, oh, I have a gun! I'm an idiot! <laughs> Dad, why didn't you tell me I had a shotgun? All right, I'm throwing you a shotgun. Boomstick, boomstick when? <laughs> oh, okay. Excellent. That's one stinger. If we can get one more stinger, we can get an extremely strong melee weapon that will absolutely carry us to the rest of the fights. Uh, it, the boomstick does a lot of damage, but its, it's versatility is quite low. And it needs to be in front of the enemy. Okay, two stingers, perfect. We don't need any more stingers now. There's a hive to our left that'll be massively, hello, massively important. A trident, okay, that's an upgrade to our sphere. A spelunker potion, massive. A spelunker potions allow us to see through walls effectively. Uh, that way we can see where loot is at before even needing to go there. And that will, hey, that's not cute, don't do that, no, no biting. Uh, it'll allow us to explore more tiles. And as I said earlier, being able to explore those tiles as fast as possible is pretty much what the early game is all about, finding HP, uh, getting stronger, getting the items. So getting a Spelunker Potion in a chest is one of the big things that I asked for, and it came at a really great time. So you can see I can see this uh, this Heart Crystal through the wall. Um, Terraria is very inspired by other Metroidvania-style games. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, cute gamer. Hey, Logan, how you doing? Uh, it's very inspired by other uh, Metroid-style games, uh, Legend of Zelda, Metroid itself, uh, uh, Castlevania, a lot of the ways. And these these crystals are, are a direct nod at uh, heart containers and we can eat them well we, I, I personally think that we snort them uh, we smash them up when we snort them uh, to, to increase our HP please give me a hook uh, they are super important for progression it's one of the things that new players struggle with is, is getting out there and finding these items because they are so I, don't, I really want this jelly prayer my turtle okay we're fine be NBD right easy there's a spider over there that's a thorns potion. Let me get that. These slippers is like really paying off. Okay. There are two people in this runner. Hype man and calm man. <laughs> hey, hi, Mr. Redstone. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Wait till I start using the Roland. Hmm. Okay. So we're, we, we, like I said, we really want these caverns. We want it to be cavernous here. And we are not having that. We don't have enough bombs to explore in this way. It's, nope. Uh, that, this enemy here is actually a very recent addition. To, oh, that's bad. I'm out of blocks. Very recent addition to that. Hey. To the game. Oh <laughs> no! Oh, we're fine. Yeah, everything's good. Nothing bad is happening. Okay, so the strongest ability that a Terrarian has, the number one thing that they can do is actually place blocks. So when you're running, if you want to pick up Terraria speedrunning, and I tell you what, the, the reason that I'm here on GDQ today is that I, I would really like to see more people running this game. It is so fun. It's so great for an audience. People really love seeing it. These unseated things are incredible. Uh, the amount of tension that that can be put on you as a runner is painful and amazing yes okay painful and amazing and i and i really really want to see in the future more people running this game so if you have any interest at all speedrun.com forward slash terraria check out the rules there you can always ask questions in the forums there oh hello uh 
I, w- I would love to help you get into doing this game. It is it, it is an insane amount of fun. Uh, I actually didn't think that Tari speedrunning would be that fun until I was um, kind of, ooh, what the heck? What is up there? Uh, encouraged by my friend Bands with Legends, who's actually in chat right now, to do the run. And the way he helped me with it is he did two-player runs with me. So we have two-player. Come here. This guy uh, only attacks at a certain range. And he, he did a lot of damage. Okay, look at that. Oh, hey, he's got a friend. <laughs> Uh, Bans got me into it. Uh, never heard of him. Thanks, Bans. Another Splunker pushing. Man, these these are gonna pay off. Man, we we're, we're, we're sitting deep on them. Let's get Iron Skin too. Oh, what? A meteorite landed? Um, there is a very low chance of that happening. Uh, normally, what we have to do is we have to do it at a very certain time. Oh, wow, wow. Uh, uh, so we just rolled a really low chance there for uh, the meteor to spawn. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> oh. No! Back demon! Oh, scrubbing him. This is why we wanted to try it. Seated. Uh, th- so so there are some things in Terraria that, that we're referencing seated. Uh, what that means is that there are um, a, a, a separate type of run in... Wow, this is a lot of enemies. There's a separate type of run in Terraria that is on a seated world where we know all the things in the world. We know it's going to jump. Okay, I'm going to lose it here. All right, that's too bad. We know what's going to show up. We know what items we're going to get. Um, this is not one of those runs. <laughs> And also that the the orb dropping is not uh, is impossible to see as well. I have to count for this. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I one of the very few times I stop talking during my streams is I have to count. I can't count and think at the same time. Anybody else have that? Yeah, I can see. I'm back now. I didn't have to count. Uh, so the meteorite we're gonna have to go get immediately. The the biggest issue actually there is that. No, we don't have the gold. The biggest issue there, actually, right now for us is that we don't have the uh, the means to mine it, actually. We're going to have to kind of just deal with what we got. We need bombs, mostly, to be able to mine it, and we only have a very limited amount. Uh, we could possibly find more bombs while looking for it, but it's going to be tight. 140 HP is pretty low at this point. My record for highest HP is actually uh, max HP, 400 HP in 33 minutes. So we, we have half of the amount of time that we've already spent to get a lot of hard crystals to hit that, but that's that was an insane seed. That was really lucky. I didn't actually get anything else on that run besides HP. Okay, so this is two houses. We're gonna need a couple more. Oh, I'm, I'm, okay, never mind. I've played this game before. I promise. So I've got. Oh my gosh, I have about four point. Oh, oh hello. Four point uh, seven. Yeah, four point seven thousand hours played in Terraria right now. Uh, I spent. I paid two dollars fifty cents for it. <laughs> Talk about value! Like, wow, we are super low on wood too. Okay, yeah. uh, but we Terraria did make a one house. Of those games, if you're interested, it goes on sale really cheap, pretty regularly. Uh, I would always check out uh, SteamDB.info for information about game sales. Uh, there has been circumstances previously, just in general, with game sales where developers will hike the price up for a game and then sell it. Terraria would never do that, I promise. Uh, but I, I just, just, in general, whenever I talk about game sales, I always mention that. Okay, okay, we're gonna. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to use a little trick. All right. Oh, please don't worry me. We're going to use a little trick in the game called Snapshot. And what Snapshot lets us do is see the world in a slightly different way uh, that will allow me to locate where this meteorite landed. Uh, it's it's kind of weird. Uh, it was added in 1.3. Oh, no. I don't see it. Dang it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's actually bad. We don't know where the meteorite's at. We have no mobility. No low HP. Do we have a boomstick? So that didn't show on the stream. What were you doing there to try and see the meteor? Okay, so um, F1 will bring you into the new camera menu that was added. Hopefully not Sky Meteor. Jeez, don't jinx me, bro. Uh, It's a new camera uh, menu that was added, F1, and then you can take a screenshot of Terraria in full definition of whatever you select. So the screenshot went onto my computer, and then I opened up the file on my computer really quickly and used that to look at Terraria because it reveals information that we wouldn't normally have, like a light source. So meteors uh, create light where they land, so the the game would actually show me that. Oh, you okay. can you can snapshot an NMA, yes. We, we did decide that was allowed. Uh, it's it's part of the game, I guess. Uh, it's a bit weird. There, there's, a, there's a couple things in NMA that are borderline. That's what we call it. We don't call it glitchless. We call it no major abuses because of that because it's... This spider's in a bad spot. One of the biggest things I've learned in my time with playing Terraria is that enemies have too much HP. Don't don't kill them if you can avoid it. 
um, just just go around them, lock them in, jump around them, manipulate their AI. There's there's a couple. There's a lot of different AIs actually, but these dudes have the same AI as zombies, for example. And if you can start manipulating zombies, you can start manipulating uh, all the other enemies in the game. Really, once you get a concept of. Um, we're just gonna cross our fingers. It'd be like that sometimes, and hope that we run into this meteorite. It was really lucky to get the meteorite, but the meteorite landed, for example, like in the ocean or on a sky island. Uh, or in, I mean, the dungeon would be fine. Uh, if only hooking was allowed. I know hooking is cool, but we don't allow it because it's sort of a sequence skip it can be. And it's it's arguably allowed in the game and it's arguably not. Like the, the devs say it's okay, but it's kind of glitchy. Uh, so, so hooking uh, is a concept okay, that. Okay, you're on it. Yeah, I got you. Uh, so hooking is a concept that Terrarians use for whenever we pass through a block that we shouldn't be able to so uh i can't do it during this run to even show you but you might see some enemies do it sometimes where they glitch through a gap or they get stuck in a way and the game pushes them out sort of it's like it's not, it's not like clipping in some other games um it's it's a cool feature that is sort of kind of adopted by folks and you could do some really insane things with effect hey necker how you doing today if you all don't know necker gaming necker gaming is the person who gave the 250 dollar tip during the triple zero run she was the very first donator to get read out and I 100% blame her for everything that happened during that run, okay? <laughs> it's 100% her fault. Like, she, hey, we found the meteorite. Yes! It, it was, Necro, you really set me up for success for that run, seriously. Uh, I, I was nervous going into it. I remember talking to Necro about it, and she was like, you got this, no problem. Uh, she's an esports caster herself. She's she's really good people. Do yourself a favor. Check her out. She plays uh, Pokemon a lot right now. 100%. 1,000. <laughs> nice, zero. <laughs> Can we get some triple zero in this chat? Just, just for Necro, really. Okay, so we found the meteorite. The biggest issue here is meteorites do insane damage. They do even more than those nerds in the jungle. They, they hit really hard, and they have their own debuff, the on-fire debuff, that they will apply. They don't take much knockback. Oh, my chat. You Wow, this... Wow. People say I have a lot of energy. Look at chat right now. Wow. Wow. Okay, this is, this is spicy. So meteorite is a special type of ore that randomly falls into the world. It doesn't ever generate with the world. It can only be found uh, after breaking a orb, as those orbs we broke earlier. Uh, th then they can fall. If you get one, what you can do is you can go to it, destroy it with a platinum, uh, a platinum or a gold pickaxe, or any. Wow, I can't. I'm I'm like watching chat. You guys are gonna say orb. Oh yeah, orb. <laughs> I forgot that is a GDQ meme. I was just talking about it. Yeah. Oh, I guess they're called Crimson Hearts, but let's call them Orb instead because that's way cooler. Uh, shoot, what was I saying? <laughs> Distract. You were uh, talking oh. about Meteorite and how you normally uh, harvest it. Roken, you need to be on stream with me normally. You, you, oh, no. <laughs> we just got to... Okay, so the, the devs in Terraria decided that the desert biome wasn't fleshed out enough, so they just made it the most brutal biome in the game in the, in the surface world. Um, what just happened is that we just had a random chance of no, uh, a chance of a an ev like a pseudo event kind of happening called a sandstorm, and a sandstorm gives you r like a terrible malice. It prevents you from moving in a certain direction. It causes a very strong enemies called angry tumblers to spawn, and it just just happened to be in a desert right now to have it happen. So it's not great. Okay, so the meteor, uh, the meteor makes a very strong equipment set for us that will propel us from being very squishy with very low dps to pretty much the highest anyways it'll propel us to having the highest some of the highest dps in hard mode certainly the highest dps for a mage class and yeah they are called angry tumblers which i don't know if is a reference to anything but uh i like to think it is so early you mentioned we might do meteor strats. What would be the alternative, like, if you weren't doing this meteorite strat? Great question. So sometimes meteor just doesn't come, so you're, you're out of luck on that. Uh, the jungle was our only other option, really. Uh, doing well in the jungle, getting an Amazon together, not getting pushed out so early. Uh, that That is almost the only other ooh, option here for that. Okay, we barely got enough. Wow. Um, or you could sometimes run into... Uh, some enough loot somehow to uh, kill Brain of Cthulhu early. The boomstick would have helped with that. Oh man, I don't have a plan. Oh, okay, we're we're in a weird spot here. Uh, sometimes, but that fight is so hard, honestly. So to put it in perspective, uh, the the brain when it hits you, it can just give you a debuff that means you can't attack anymore, and it can just keep doing that. It can just permanently prevent you from attacking. Its movement isn't even known. It's it's so all the other most of the other enemies in the game they have a very set movement pattern. Brain of Cthulhu does not. It just does a thing. 
and it can, it can just end up inside you and end up like stun locking you basically comboing together bleeds confusion uh, all it's 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 really brutal so if you can, unless you can get the equipment together you're gonna have a bad time uh, okay this is looking amazing though this is really good the only thing we're missing right now is hit points all right i'm gonna roll actually this is lg like i know it's unpleasant um we i would really love to do that brain fight that i was just talking about right now but where hp is so desperately low hmm. so this is this is true our speed ring in a nutshell when i when i talk about how you need to be able to think on your feet and make a decision on the the very little amount of equipment and information that you have this is it right now what is my next move i can't kill burning cthulhu how do i find more hp how do i get more accessories where do i find my hermes boots at there's a lot going on here that you have to think about right on the fly and this is one of the most enjoyable parts of the terraria speedrunning is is thinking on the fly and then coming up with a solution or or, or feeling terribly and not getting uh <laughs> having to type midnight in a console because you were uh, a couple <laughs> seconds behind uh, you you were there, Rilke, and that was amazing. I didn't I didn't realize you were here. We we've been talking a little bit uh, previously, and it, bl it blows me away that you were part of it. Yeah, it was funny because I'm not super familiar with those commands either. But somebody on Slack was like, "Just tell him to use the console commands," and was like writing it up how to do it in Slack, <laughs> and we were forwarding <laughs> really? it to you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I hadn't heard that yet. That is awesome. That is so cool. You, uh, so I, I said this at the time. The production team had my back so hard during this. They were like, "All right, let's let's make this guy successful." They set me up so much to to have a good run, to to have everything prepped. They talked to me so many times about uh, you know what it was going to be like uh, and all the stuff. It was it was really good. And Hobbs as well as Mister Game and Shout. Um, really, really went out of their way to make sure that I was comfortable and that I had all the resources I need. And then now I'm hearing ah, the merchant moved in. Great RNG. Uh, now and now I'm hearing people on Slack <laughs> were answering or trying to help out. This is wild. Yeah. Okay. So th we call these NPC prisons. Okay. NP NPCs don't deserve to be able to walk around. Okay. They suck. They don't pay rent. This is what they get. All right. They go in, when when uh, GQ is asking me to make a house. This is what you were gonna get. All right, this is our house. Okay, so this is good, though. We have our housing made. And the housing will double as an arena as well. Why do you build houses? Great question. Uh, so NPCs in this game are very powerful. They give you the ability... <laughs> uh, they give you the ability to uh, turn money into other equipment. Uh, for example, b uh, explosives, uh, high damage items. If you have a lot of money, you can actually like literally tear up your items. Uh, if you have the Goblin Tinker, you can actually... They're super powerful, but they don't pay rent, yeah. Uh, they, don't, they will pay rent later, actually. That's the thing. Okay, this merchant needs to move. Okay, there he went. I'm gonna... Oh, I have a magic mirror. I'm silly. Oh, my God. I left these behind. Oh, my speedrunner, by the way. I'm supposed to take these with me. I should not ever leave these behind. Uh, I know what I'm doing. Don't, don't look at me. Uh, this is useless. NPC abuse. No report blocks. I need my channel. Okay, so we're gonna... So, so here's an example of an NPC. They have items that you can buy, and these items do a myriad of things. Uh, I just bought a, a storage item. Let's see if we need anything else. I think I got... Okay, we have the Shrukens. We can buy HP pots. We can buy torches with this guy. Uh, mostly, this dude is actually a uh, an NPC that opens up the ability to get more NPCs, and then those NPCs are, are very specific, and they are generally more useful than this very broad NPC. Man, we we almost had an Amazon. Wow. I have another question. When you've got a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Interrupt me. I don't mind. Okay. So I know there used to be a way to build houses in a way you could make it so that multiple NPCs Ooh. would use the same house. Is that not available wow. anymore? I can't believe you remember that. Yeah, uh, that was the Infinite House, and it, it was super popular in Terraria Speedrunning. It was it was the housing they use, obviously. And uh, Relogic removed it in the 1.3 update. They specifically took it out of the game. Uh, that is a thing. If if I find something, so Senex, um, one of the head developers, uh, Bands is lamenting the Infinite House in chat. Yeah, this is the Angly Tumbler, by the way. I do not want to mess with. It. Okay, we're good. Nope, nope. Just kidding. We'll wait. <laughs> you can you can fall down that hole. I don't mind. Uh, Cynic's one of the lead developers, uh, is very often in community chats. Uh, they have their community managers in chats. They they are watching streams. They're watching YouTube videos. They take a very active role in their community. So that means that when we find a new speedrunning strat, they are paying attention, and they do not like glitches. And any time that there is a glitch, they are going to remove it. If it doesn't fit into the game, they're going to change it. That, pro that creates a little bit of a tension between us. Uh, it feels a little bit adversarial sometimes. But uh, really what they want is to have a game that 
they can be proud of. And the way that they see doing that is removing that type of stuff, not allowing it to be in the game and making it as, as good as they possibly could. And 1.4 update coming out this year is going to change so much about running that we're going to have to change the boards entirely, obviously. Uh, it's they, they are very stringent about it. Like, I, I remember being literally upset <laughs> that they removed it because it was such a good thing. It was well, very powerful. Uh, a lot of casual players used that as well. So it really was kind of leaking over from speedruns into just the normal landscape as well yes i think that's what they really didn't like uh what they really didn't like was when a new player was using it and it was changing the gameplay experience because they wanted you to make houses they wanted you to be involved with that they added this feature the housing feature here um on the right side they added this in particular to make housing better and i think actually around that time is when infinite housing became popular so they were like no do the housing so uh, i understand at least if this, if this was my baby if i literally was you know working on terraria for a good chunk of my life and and making it i i wouldn't want you jerks to be doing weird stuff either so uh, yeah i i got their back on that at least for now for this moment uh sorry you got timed out uh new youtube challenge go to your nearest major cities mall oh wait oh no coronavirus never mind <laughs> dang it <laughs> everyone be safe all right if you're immunocompromised take care of yourself arms dealer moved in okay so th that's a bit of an issue the arms dealer moving in um it is it is a natural course but we really want to Whenever we can get the demo man to move in. We, oh yeah, we can get bullets. You're right, bands. Oh my god, what I have this though. Uh, we really need more hammocks for more inventory. I do. Oh yeah, wait, wait. Where's the hammocks? Where's the hammocks? I don't have it, do I? Chat, you're smart. You got big brains over there. Let's make a hammocks. <laughs> I, I like reading my chat, <laughs> so I do my best to do so. Also, streamer. Oh no, not like not get this again. Actually, I gotta say thanks to all the GDQ community because they they had such a positive reaction to my total failure. Question mark. Uh, I. It, it did not go as planned, for sure. Hey, Math Drawn, thanks for subbing over here. I appreciate it. It's nine months of being subbed over here. Wow, what a mad laugh. Thank you a ton, my friend. Thanks for supporting GDQ. Uh, let's, let's get GDQ back to being the most number one subscribe channel on Twitch again, eh? I think that'd be pretty high speed. Yeah, uh, I, I love nice, the Nice uh, segue there, if I could jump in for a second. Is mm -hmm. that a hot fix? Is this a series of shows that we do in between main events? And uh, one of the ways that this funded is by subs and bits. So we appreciate all the subs and Mingan chat. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much. Yeah, great. Yeah, I, I mean, this guy gotta get paid, chat. All right, he's gotta make money. He ain't here for free. I don't think. Are you? I mean, this is my job. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Pay this man. Pay Railcoon, please. Twitch chat, senpai. Okay, this is good. We have a an, an item that we really needed desperately. Nice awarding. Uh, this is a spawn for one of the bosses that we'll need to kill. Demo man moved in. Thank you so much rng gods that is so important to us that we have that guy move in how much money do i have four gold on me right now i could get grenades i need to get a whip before we leave are we doing on the uh, hooks you mentioned that earlier yeah that's uh, sorry i i, I just told i just called it a whip <laughs> yeah that's that's exactly what i want to make right now it's one of these hooks before i go back yeah nice good throw yeah i have the piggy bank you're right i, need, I do need to use it when i can Space gun too. So this is this is one of the moments where you're getting so many different items and so many things are happening. You can actually lose track of what you have and forget. Like I have the space gun, I have the boomstick and stuff like that. It's oh yeah, oh, it's another ruby. Seven bombs. What? It's a pretty rare drop. Where did those go? Nice. Okay. I really would like to get a hook before we leave here. Uh, hopefully, we don't get killed by a spook. This was drop. Sock monkey. Twenty months. What a mad lad. Thank you very much. I appreciate it a ton, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get some hero in chat? The, one of the heroes of AGDQ. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Okay. That was really, really bad play. Uh, I got myself in a position there where I couldn't do much. Is that because you backed Simple. yourself into a corner there? Yeah, exactly. And I, and how the, the knockback works is that I can't really move through targets because they'll knock me back by touch. Uh, so I, I just had to... I, I closed my eyes, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> and I just kind of prayed that we were going to get Larry things with the sub as well. He, that's what I'm talking about. Hee hee, row, row! <laughs> if I take one more hit, I'd die. Need blocks. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and if you see the uh, the health regen is very slow by default in Terraria, you can speed it up. But great, yeah, great point. Uh, actually, expert mode further nerfs HP regeneration. Uh, they felt the HP regeneration was too fast, uh, and then they, so they reduced it even further. Um, the only way to bring it back to its normal value, not to buff it, is to get food, food buffs. Now, food buff itself does add some uh, HP regeneration increase, but mostly the only way that we're regenerating HP right now is using health pots. We're very lucky that we have ten. 
really good health pots right now. Uh, these are pretty mandatory for us surviving down here. Because everything hits for a 70, 80. Okay, we might... We almost, Okay, we need to kill some... Whoa, what the heck? There's a big hole here. <laughs> what is... What the heck? Okay, whatever. Terraria, you generate so weird sometimes. It's thousands of hours of gameplay, and I'm still blown away sometimes. When we, okay, we just got a really good item. Hermes boots are absolutely mandatory. We actually could not complete the round also without Hermes boots. Uh, they are necessary for the wall of flesh, which I am uh, totally not going to die to you today. Okay, hearts, good. Okay, th we're well, looking... Be, this is looking clean, actually, right now. That would be really bad if you died to wall of flesh. Last boss in the run, uh, super climactic. I, I really like that uh, boss fight. It's really, really fun. Uh, maybe, I, I actually think that, so expert isn't run very often. Uh, Speedrunners just find expert to be really difficult. It takes longer, enemies are tougher. Um, the base mechanics are made to be grindier in particular. Uh, the the very last event that you have to do actually takes a lot longer than it normally, oh my gosh, I'm really doing some bad platforming here. A lot longer than it normally would. You can use your Splunkers. I, I don't know that Splunkers will help me too too much right now uh, because it, it, it's so cavernous right now. Uh, I really need to find enemies, but I guess I will use them. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, okay. This is, okay, I'm, okay give, that, give that guy a sub. Who, who said that? Give that man a sub. I would do it right now. Write that name down. <laughs> using that Splunker potion just now uh, made me see these rubies here, and this is a hook. This is what we wanted. VIP him. Uh, I wrote it down <laughs> for you. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Oh, we're one short. Oh, no. We have 15, but I need one. Ah, that's not good. What do I do here? I have to make a choice. Will I find a ruby later? Oh, no. So we need one ruby for a king slime spawner. Yeah. Uh, Still one on the ground. Oh, I see it. Two chat. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Well, they both got gifted a sub. Yes. Both the people suggest you use it. <laughs> Can we get some hero row in chat? Thank you so much for those gift subs. I'm sorry I'm missing them. Oh my god. Uh, I Wow, that is really freaking awesome of you. Seriously. Thanks a ton for that. Uh, okay, let's go kill Ica through there. This is our first boss fight. This is the uh, the Eye of Cthulhu shield that I was talking about previously. Uh, it will give us, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It will give us a lot of mobility, uh, add some damage to us as well, but we have to fight this pretty difficult enemy uh, with very low HP. Very low HP. We do have an Iron Skin Potion. Oh, okay. Uh, so, bosses in Terraria generally start out pretty chill. Uh, what always happens though is they get real angry. Uh, so this enemy will start getting super spicy pretty quick, and it'll it will, it will take increased damage. Unlike the other bosses who take is boomstick better? I don't I don't know. Oh, you know what? What is better though? This right here. Uh, is boomstick better? Boomstick might be better. You're right. Thanks, Vance. <laughs> Speedrunner, by the way. <laughs> I I know what I'm doing. All right. I, I've played this game before. Okay. Okay, great. So, so this is phase two of him. Angry. Perfect. Oh, man. A 10 minute timeout. Can we get Fizz untimed out? Nope. We could have been campfires. Campfires is a great yeah, shout, Raptor. A... That was just an auto filter. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a great shout. Uh, what campfires do is increase HP regeneration. And so they're really strong. So, what I'm doing here is I could use my, my health pot, but I'm not going to. I'm going to cheese with Nurse. So, Nurse is a, just an NPC that you can buy your HP back with. That's why she's, she's there in that spot. Okay, he's real salty now. So I have my health potion in case things get spicy. Oh, dude! Bro oh, okay, good. Okay, one boss down. Great. Clap. Okay, shield of Cthulhu. Super powerful. This will also give us the tendon bow. So this will let us spiral into the next boss. If our HP was higher. Man, we have to find hit points. I think we are rolling in money right now. So I might make a elevator. And that elevator will get us hit points? Quick, very confident in that. Uh, usually it will help with it at the very least. Okay, cut, cut. Okay, 100. Oh, yes, good, 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 good. good. Best accessory in the game. Pretty soft degree. Um, cross necklace is insanely good. Uh, it's, it's, but it's so late in the game compared to this item that you're kind of right. It's so good. It's It really is so impactful. I could make an Amazon. Uh, I'm going to. No, I can't make an Amazon. I don't have the wood. Yeah, man, we are so low on wood this run. We just had. It's one of the very first points of my RNG is getting that wood, and we've managed to do so. Do I want to buy bullets? So I've got. How many bullets do I have? Twenty-seven. Okay, Vance, you just want to you just want to do the run for me. 
<laughs> you, can, you can get in here. <laughs> uh, hey, Tobias, how are you doing today? Uh, so I, I as a, a streamer, find interacting with chat to be maybe the most important thing. I am not the best speedrunner uh, in Terraria. Max Overpower, twitch.tv forward slash Max Overpower. Uh, he speedruns Terraria very frequently. He is a multiple world record holder. He Cobalt Shield, strong disagree. I don't actually think that Cobalt Shield is very good. Uh, ooh, this is very scary. It's going to roll when I touch it. Come here. Oh god, no! I don't. I don't want to. I changed my mind. I don't want to do this. This is too scary. <laughs> this is. This is. I don't like this. What can I do here? My color pickaxe is so weak; it doesn't have the range. It's gonna kill me. So yeah, max overpower. He, he's a, he's exceedingly good at this game. He he focuses a lot. I am not nearly as good at him. Uh, I just, I like to have a fun time. Really, I just I just like to see uh see myself <laughs> make somebody laugh. Really, <laughs> make myself laugh. Make you all laugh. I don't know. I, that's what I'm into it. Guide to plant fire records. OP. True. True. Uh, that was an explosive trap. I didn't even see it. Oh my gosh. That is maybe my most hated thing in Terraria. So I started playing Terraria in hardcore. Um, I, I really kind of love Terraria in the hardcore setting where when you die a single time. Oh yeah, elevator. Thank you, Wolfman. Uh, quick way from the surface to the underworld. It's just a straight thing down that we build that allows us to get access to different biomes. What the heck? Spider biome. No, thank you. This is a very dangerous biome. Uh, spiders don't take very much knockback, and they do a lot of damage. In hard mode, they get all of that more, and they also have the venom debuff and a stun. They might... They're one of the most versatile uh, NPCs... Uh, sorry, enemies in the entire game, I would say, actually. So normally, this would be really bad. Um, actually, that might be, <laughs> might be reset-worthy in, a, in a, an all-boss run. But since they're all pre-harmed bosses, we never, we'll never see them. We'll never see their uh, very strong variant. So not too big a deal. How do they uh, rank compared to like, uh, what are they called? Hoplites, I think. <laughs> so, so Hoplites, an expert, can actually do more damage in a single attack than uh, the, the the starting player has HP. So that's pretty bad. And they can also do a ranged attack. Spiders can't. So that's that's a that's a good pickup. I think Hoplites might be one of the scariest. Uh, Crawdaddy, uh, Crawdad is the name of it. Sorry, I call it Crawdaddy. <laughs> uh, the Crawdaddy is also really scary because it can do the same. I don't think spiders can hit that hard. And they don't have a range attacks, so yeah. We, well, he, Roku knows a lot about Terraria, obviously. Here, he's got a lot of good commentary going on. Ah, nice heart. This is what we're looking for down here. I, I think that 300 HP, and we can do this. So we are behind perfect run right now. Um, I would say perfect run right now. We would have 300 HP. And we would have killed Brandon Cthulhu just now, and we actually could have been fighting and finishing another boss. Who's your craw, Daddy? Who's your craw, Daddy? Not me. I don't. Oh, I again. Hey, the stylus is here. Hello. That doesn't help us, but she's cute. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please don't murder me. Uh, we'd be killing Skeletron right now. So, uh, how pumped are you for new updates, man? It's uh, I. I'm trying not to cry every night that it doesn't get updated. Okay, <laughs> that's that's my life. Uh, it's and it's so it's it's like I know everyone else is excited about it too, but it's so impactful for me as a content creator to have the new update. Oh, so many I I got some chat. Yeah, uh, it's so impactful for me as a content creator. Give me that. Give me that blinker. I just, I just like your blinker a lot. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, percent. So impactful to me as a content creator to have new content patches come out that I was pretty upset uh, that 1.4 got delayed. But also, I want to go with the understanding that they're doing their best. They're they're trying to make the best game that they possibly can, and that's really what is most important. Personally, it's... in these days of so many rushed releases, I'm actually thankful when I see a delay because it means they're like taking their time to do it well, you know? You know, it's very topical because Cyberpunk got delayed. Cyberpunk 2077, right? Got yep. delayed as well. And that was r really... I mean, that's a triple-A game. Getting a delay on that, like, a lot of people were involved in making that decision to delay. So it's pretty significant. There's a VIP in chat without a sub. What? Go ahead. What is this? What is this? What's going on here? What am I looking at? Hey, hey Mikira's <laughs> box. What are you doing today? It's all right. I, I just... Uh, it's it, one of it, our staff this is, members. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, well, come on. Hey, you! Hey, Wandering Shrink, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. Developer mental health is so important. And you know, the thing about it is that when the developer is healthy, the publisher will get more of a payout because they'll make a good game. Uh, I, I don't know if you all read about what happened with uh, Telltale Games? Tiny? Yeah, Telltale, Telltale Games, I believe. Yeah. yeah. They, they like really... Hey, Javante, thanks for that. Sub, appreciate it, Ton. Uh, they, they really, really pushed their devs like in this cycle that really made them upset, sad. Like They took advantage of them. So I, I hope that in the future we can learn from those mistakes and you know help our developers out to be happier people who make better games for us because we're relying on them. You know I can't make a freaking game; I just play them. 
I mean, I'm, that's why I'm so thankful for No Man's Sky and release. Oh my gosh. You know what's amazing about that is they work so hard on that game. That game is actually good now. That, that's actually a really great game. Oh no! <laughs> Nothing bad happened. Chat is definitely not going to react to what just occurred. Yep, yep, I see it. <laughs> God dang it! This is a delay! That's not good! I need... Alright, let's, let's just not pay attention. We're good. Everything's fine. Hee hee row row! Hee hee row row! <laughs> Oh man. Uh, well, uh, we we can set the. Uh, I mean, this there we can get a goblin tinkerer. That's that's good, right? Uh, this cave is also not going splendidly. We have found very little. Oh my god! I almost killed myself to that uh, trap there. I didn't see it. No, the skull army is here. Okay. At least the goblin tinkerer is cute, right? Just never go home again. Hey, you know what's up? <laughs> yeah, just because uh, we're not on the surface, right? Yeah, easy. Whoa. Planned. Uh, frame, frame perfect dodge there. I totally saw that dart trap. Where are the heart crystals? Cute NPCs, yeah, yeah. Actually, okay, so the biggest problem with the goblin invasion isn't even the time lost. It's that new NPCs can't move in. If your NPCs die during it, they can't move in. They can't be brought back in until the event is over. Yeah, that's pretty much the case. I felt like I was going to continue there, but I was like, wait, no, that's it. That's good. TGI, yeah, yeah. Did someone say gallows or orcs? Okay. All right, so this is looking good here. Actually, this is the kind of biome that we want to see. We have houses here. We have... Oh my goodness, <laughs> Badger. <laughs> <laughs> that was pixels. <laughs> Can we get a clip on that? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was not even close, baby. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is a really good biome. It'd be really bad to die in this area because we need to pick up... Oh, crawl Daddy! Crawl Daddy, no! Okay, we're fine. He, he, I talked about him and he came. Oh, gosh. <laughs> hey, I love speedrunning. It's really fun. You guys should try it if you haven't done so before, all right? If, you, if you've just been watching speedrunning for a long time, second period is hard. Mm. Okay, let's go with angry. Uh, if you haven't tried speedrunning, it is really, really enjoyable. That's another boulder trap I almost touched. I mean, yeah. on the Huffix, we've got a number of shows that are based around, you know, getting started in speedrunning. It's not as hard as you think it is. Yeah, I, I I think that actually it is fairly accessible. Uh, there is a lot. What? That's a very 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 rare item. That's really good in a normal run, but kind of jokes on this one. Uh, yeah, that's that's cool. I didn't know that Hotfix had that. Uh, that's really awesome to see. I would I would I want to see more people be involved in the community and do more things with speedrunning. Uh, speedrun.com is a great resource. Uh, I would I would like to see speedrunning become more inclusive in a lot of ways, uh, like doing more game time stuff like that. Yeah, the, uh, um, like rather than RTA. The Thursday show we have this week, uh, the first step is a show where people race games that they are semi-blind on, and just showing that first speed runs don't have to be great. You know, just trying to go fast. That's speed running. You know. That, that, wow. That, yeah. It, honestly, that that is right. Like, if if everyone expected to be a master pianist the first time they played the piano, that would be a problem. Like, no one would get good at playing piano, right? You you shouldn't have the expectation of yourself to be more record holder. Uh, my friend Quack, who got timed out at the very beginning of the stream, <laughs> shout out to you, Quack. <laughs> he he recently submitted his very first uh, run, uh, and he he's got the goal of being tenth place at some point. He's his first run ever. He got to, ooh, oh wow, that was interesting. He got to twelfth. I think that's stellar. I'm I'm proud of him for doing that. Good thing I disarmed that. Uh, I I mean I think that's a significant achievement. He's he's been watching Terraria speedruns for literally years. Never done one himself, and he finally... Look for HP, this please dog. That's the biggest thing. 300 HP, and then we'll go fight another boss. Uh, and then I'm, I'm thinking like one hour, 30 minutes will be the time for this. My PB is 123, um, and that's actually with a death or two. <laughs> okay. Yeah, HP. talking yeah. about the whole like introductory speedrunning thing and that kind of thing. Like I'm a person that often doesn't even submit to leaderboards. I just run compared to myself. like hmm. Just having fun speedrunning, you know? That's that's the core speed running, comparing yourself to yourself. Uh, that's, whoa, what the heck? That's really what um, is gonna shine through if you're gonna like speed running or not. Like, yeah, I'm on world record pace. Uh, this is spicy. Okay, I have to make a decision here. So gravitation potions are. You're gonna, this is gonna be weird in screen. Uh, gravitation potions are something that allow me to flip gravity, uh, and they flip my character as well. So they're a little bit disorienting for a viewer. I apologize for that, uh, but they're super powerful. Is there anything in the sky you'd like to see? Because I know that's a common way of getting to the sky yeah. islands before you normally have access. Great call. Cell's already on it as well. Star Fury. Star Fury is an extremely powerful item. Uh, it does a lot of damage, but mostly it gives you exploration. The reason I'm... 
Okay, that was close. And the reason I'm not interested in doing that right now is because I have Splunker potions in. So I think that heart above me, or was it below? <laughs> 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 uh, I'm, not, I'm not interested in it because of the Splunker potions, since I have so much visibility already. I just want to use this for Mobo. Great suggestion, though. Uh, there is other things, like Shiny Red Balloon uh, is really good also. Okay, I think that we're just going to try to kill your brain. Oh, I for I actually I legit forgot that this was a thing. These guys hit like trucks. Please. Okay, we're fine. We're just we're actually going to ignore them. I think we might be able to complete the run without them. We have the demo man. We can buy the dynamite. It's feasible that we can ignore them. Generally, I wouldn't su suggest that. The being, thanks for the sub. I'm glad you enjoyed Terraria. 25 months of being subscribed. Hopefully, you'll see Terraria on the GDQ channel more often from now on. I would love to get some other runners like Max Silver Power to actually show you a good run. Uh, <laughs> Your I, runs have been fine, Badger. They're just very entertaining. Have, I'm very critical of myself. Okay, real good. Kawaii Destiny. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I had to do that at some point today. Uh, I'm gonna craft. So I had the weirdest bug earlier today. Oh my gosh, it was it was something I've never seen before. I accidentally, like, the world generated in such a way that two of these altars were inside each other, which was very strange. Really? Yeah, and I, I placed a platform. Oh, no. I placed a platform. We did this during GD, AGDQ, too. Uh, that destroyed the the altars. I, I It was... I, I don't need to go back and watch it, because it was very strange. Did that count as, like destroying them hard mode or did it just like remove them i would be interested to see what happened if we did it in hard mode in pre-hard mode if you destroy one it doesn't do anything oh, it would okay. be amazing if we had hard mode or <laughs> that would be yeah, that's what i was curious about because that's how you get the hard mode ores is you destroy the altars uh the the uh yeah, the super competitive okay yes yeah, sorry sorry can we untime stuff for <laughs> Uh, yes, the that's a great shout. Uh, a lot of the 2P plus runs are not very competitive. You're right. Uh, we Mostly for us, we like to keep those categories there to encourage people to just play with your friend. Um, if, if I, and we think that's like the best way to get people in. Most of the runners there, it's max overpower can beat them all like at the same time. You, you can put 15 people on the map and max will still put them down. Uh, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. I, I think the, the one of the biggest... Uh oh I totally didn't realize that this was about to happen. I thought we had more to break. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, I'm cursed! Not like this! Shield dash, please. Save me. I'm cursed! <laughs> Son of a... How often are you going to curse me? <laughs> yes, this is going amazing? Question mark? No. Brain. Brain. Be nice. I'm on GQ right now. Take a breath. Dying, you're killing me, Badger. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to my stream. I like to be crazy and have fun. Oh, my heart's pounding. So when you were yelling about how you're cursed, what does the cursed debuff do? Oh, we did it. Oh. Uh, cursed debuff prevents you from taking any actions. Uh, I think you can still place blocks, but you can't recall, you can't shoot. Uh, and that takes away a lot of the knockback that we need for that fight because keeping him knockback prevents him from running into our face, basically. Oh my god, Chad, I love you! Yes! We drink it! That's what I'm talking about! You didn't kill! <laughs> Ooh, what happened? Oh! We just survived. Okay, Railkun, all day during practice, I died at that boss every time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lightheaded right now. Oh my good lord. Okay, I have to get rid of this. Oh. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. We are on pace. Okay, next boss will be... Okay, let's get ready for Wall of Flesh. Queen Bee can be coming up too. Um, I'm going to stick with Meteor and Armor, I think. This is looking real spicy. We have Krim as well. No, <laughs> chat! I love you! <laughs> okay, let's go to jungle. Small HP, biggest problem. I agree, Maxport. 
Um, well, I'm, let's not forget about this as well. This is a real issue. I'm going to start getting shot at here in a second. I have to leave. So this, this enemy to my left is going to move to me, but... Okay. Um, I just made it so that he thought I was lower, so he dropped down. Okay, this. So we have made a uh, the same mistake I made at GDQ, actually, not having enough gel. Queen Bee because B-Nades. We, well, this is an all pre a boss run, Cal Ken, so we actually don't have a choice. We have to kill Queen Bee, but B-Nades are really good. They are really, really seriously, like, amazingly good. They're one of the newest items that was added to Terraria, uh, and they, man, they, woof, they, they are sweet. <laughs> Uh, they they do AOE, they do homing, they explode on damage, they're buffed by throwing, it's really easy to get them, uh, you can farm them, and on, while farming them you do a bunch of things. So Bands of Legends and I, the first time we actually did an expert all boss uh, run unseated, we we were like, Queen Bee, kill the Queen Bee a whole bunch of times, get Bee nades, destroy everything. And it worked really well. And the only reason we don't do that anymore is because runners now have found other techniques that they can kind of slip by. Uh, without using V-Nades and still beat the bosses, i.e. Dynamite, which requires an incredible amount of finesse and timing, but is very effective, and therefore it's kind of fallen out of use because you can't break war record. Oh, man, we don't have a hive. You can't break war record anymore if you're using V-Nades, basically. What am I wearing right now? James, I'm not wearing anything at all. <laughs> okay. Is that okay? Hopefully what I don't the hell, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I, I'll, guys, I'll never see you again. Uh, left above rail. <gasps> Poggies. Yep. Pretty. I thought I did too, Avanox. Um. I believe the correct <laughs> answer is that you're wearing meteorite armor. Oh, nailed it. Nice. You should be a streamer. Okay. <laughs> you need, you need, you need, we need to hang out more often, friend. Okay. I think we'll go this way. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hey, Mr. Restaurant, how you doing today? Uh, TBGB Blush, yeah. So we're, we're sitting good on money. We have great equipment. We uh, HP is our biggest issue, I would say, right now. If we can get more hit points, we'll be in a really good spot. I don't need this anymore. No, wait. Not like this. I thought this was a hive. This is okay. So, uh, just part of this is looking for this spawn. Uh, this is a kind of a very different. Okay, so there's only one other. I knew I was getting into. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, um, th there's only one other boss that spawns similarly to Queen Bee, and that's Plantera. Uh, Queen Bee does generate with the world. Uh, we just have to find her, and sometimes it can be a really big issue. This is a good indicator that she's nearby. Ooh. But it doesn't tell us exactly where it is. It could be to the left, it could be to the right, it could be above. It's probably not above. Stop. Now, some people try to tell me this game is not a bullet hell. Strong disagree. It's super bullet hell. -y. There's so many enemies all the, all the time. It's like, you have to have the most precise movement. It's ridiculous. Where is this? Yeah, you guys won't get to see Plant Lady during this. Um, plant Lady is the hypest part of my stream. Okay, if you think I got energy, wait until I spawn a Plant Lady bulb. On a on a world record run because I will I will I've yelled so hard that I hurt myself. <laughs> okay, this is it, it gets intense. I believe it. What is this like the, like I have a rib thing where I'm like oh I gotta give myself a stitch. I yelled so hard. What is going on with these piranhas? We're at a party. Two gel, nice. Have you ever found a slime staff in one of these runs? <sighs> Fastest I've ever found a slime staff is in one minute and forty six seconds. Ooh. I want to say. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you had that reaction. I've never since, never have I actually gotten a slime staff on a run. I, I, I don't know. It's just it just never happened in this whole time. So I'm I'm really proud of that. I think I think it might have been like two minutes or something like that. Uh, it's it was like one of my oldest videos actually. This is bad. I know you had one during EGDQ, but it was well past the point where you could have done anything with it. You're right! We did have one during EGDQ! Oh my gosh, I forgot about that! Did you guys slime staff at EGDQ? That, it, yes! It's 1 in 10,000, by the way, and I didn't have time to react to it at the time, but that is pretty scary. Uh, it, was, it was nuts to get that. Oh, I have to stand still for a second. I need to heal. Uh, healing actually does happen faster when the character is not moving. So if you need to heal, one of the things you can do is stand here, which is not going up at all right now. 
Please? Okay, well. Uh, so, and Slime Staff doesn't really do any damage. It's kind of a joke item, almost, uh, in that it does so little damage. Actually, I tell you what, the, the Slime Staff can reduce the damage that you deal. Here we go. Because it does piercing damage, and piercing damage will override other piercing damage. So if you're doing, like, arrows, yo-yos, something like that, uh, the, you're piercing, you're much higher piercing damage from that. Hey, money. Uh, have you ever found a Rod of Discord on a Rod? I have never even held that item, Meep. Um, it is just really? not something they ever farm for. It's not something I've ever farmed for, and it's so insane to get. Where is this time? It's, it's a rare drop from a rare enemy, isn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, it's only in hard mode as well. So rare drop from a fairly rare enemy. It's, it's, I think it's... I don't think if it's as long as... Chat could probably tell me how uh, what the drop rate is on that. But it's it's just something that you would have to go looking for, basically. And I... It's never been part to, of my stratagem to get it. You have to force it by like despawning enemies repeatedly. Yeah, that's a great technique, actually. Yeah, uh, there there was one in four hundred. See, it feels even worse than that. Uh, I've never had it. Nice bombs. Uh, feels worse than that. I guess it's not. Uh, there. Okay, so there's this weird thing that we never talk about anymore. It's called the rod carryover glitch, and it's totally banned. It's so strong. You can start the game with multiple items if you want infinite items all as well it, it's it's a really weird uh way that the character is saved like the cursor is saved so we actually found a way at some point to bring a rod into a fresh world and for it to actually be technically allowed in the rules until we banned it uh so there was a, there was some speed runs we did where we had a rod of discord starting i don't really count that as actually having done it or having had it man this hive is really not wanting to be found we don't have a lot of time here. I need to kill Queen Bee and also Skeletron tonight to get my time that I want to break PB. And then we also have Boo Doll. This is going to be really tight. I think that I... Um... Oh, yes! <laughs> Never mind, we're good. It's fine. MBD. What could, what could go wrong? We'll be, we'll be okay. Found the hive. Uh, Pinky actually does increase the chances of dropping a slime staff. Uh, it becomes one in one thousand, I want to say. Okay, so we have low HP. Uh, Queen B is kind of up there with the difficulty level for Skeletron, which is widely considered oops, widely considered the hardest boss. <gasps> no, I forgot about these guys. <laughs> All right, here we go, chat. Goblin army plus Queen B, same time. Let's do this. Okay, so Queen B, she... Oh, no. She gets um, increased speed, increased damage, her phases get faster, and her armor is increased as she gets lower in HP. So right now, she's not really an enemy. She's kind of just kind of just waiting for me to see if I got what I got. And then once she does get low, she will be moving super fast. So fast that she'll move through us faster than a single iframe. So if I got the, the skills to pay the bills here, I can actually dash into her, get an iframe, and have her move through me without doing damage. If I don't miss. We'll see about that. And I'm also getting shot by arrows. And also there's summoners. <laughs> so <laughs> this is spicy. Primrod would be really good. Uh, okay, so the thing to remember... Oh my gosh. Shotgun Beach. I, I, I really like the the space gun because it does sing a lot of single high damage because uh, as her armor increases... Hello. This is the say, This is the only time she's not scary. If, if no, if she stays in that stage, it's super easy to kill her. Uh, war record for this this boss is praying that she stays in that phase that she was just in. Yes, because you can see the Crimson doing damage. I'm having to watch both Queen B and also the enemies below me too. No one expects a Spanish Inquisition. No one expects a Goblin Inquisition. Boomstick is really, really strong. I, I really prefer Space Gun for its consistency, though. Right, what is the Boomstick's name, I wonder? This is Tagger. This is 12, 17. Oh, oh, oh. Dang it. Okay, this is... So, that that really... Okay, this is... You can see the speed now. Nice. Good, good, good moves. Uh, so, she's going to where you're at. She's one of the few enemies that doesn't... Hey, stop shooting at me! I'm walking here! Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> How did I not get hit there? <laughs> okay, we got this. Easy peasy. So now, okay, now the boss fight's on. Now it's actually real. You're starting seeing mach machine gun. Okay. I'm gonna let her dash into me. Ah, it dashed into the arrow. 
Yep, serious time. You, you can tell when I run is hard because I <laughs> my my tempo. <laughs> oh no! Ugh. We're good. We're good. Everything is a okay. I, I imagine Railkun just like biting his nails right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, great move there. I uh, actually increased my height so that her shots would change very slightly in her pattern to allow me to dash through the shots. See, we got it, we got it, yes, okay, great. Okay, we're gonna have to go for Wall of Flesh now. Okay, there's a super good item that she drops. It is called the Bee's Knees. It's extremely powerful. If we get it, it'll help us a little bit uh, with our next two bosses. We did not get it, okay, that's fine. Do you I'm ever uh, fight her in a hive if it's big enough because of the whole healing effect from the honey? The honey has an extremely good buff, yes. Uh, and I, I have seen other people do that. Usually they're super geared at that point. So since we're we're doing, we're, we have so little stats on our character, like 200, 280 HP, uh, and we don't have molten armor and stuff like that, I think it might be possible, but very dangerous. Uh, if you were going to do that, I would suggest you do something like uh, having a honey pit, having a heart lantern, having a campfire down, having regen ban on. Uh, Cobalt Shield would be really good as well on that. So it's so there's a lot of actually there's Terraria kind of balances itself in a way that it makes itself easier for players who are willing to grind. So if you're willing to put in the work to get those really cool items, it actually gets a lot a lot easier. And you can do things like that. You mentioned like just kind of have a, a fight where you get hit quite a bit, but you have good regeneration. You're taking advantage of the the honey. Uh, so yeah, buckets of honey is really good. I wouldn't actually use buckets of honey, uh, Kuma Kobe. I would actually do the hive wand, and you can place hive blocks and then break the hive blocks, and the hive blocks will actually turn into honey. That's a lot easier to work with on on the fly than the the honey the yeah the honey buckets. I don't. I, I, that's the way I prefer to do it. It allows me to carry a lot of honey with me. Uh, it, it takes up less space and it's not as as frustrating to use. But there's, you know, there's lots of different ways to do it. So I have an obvious uh, question here, Badger. Hmm. You said uh, we're gonna do Wall of Flesh here, but then you said we have two bosses left. But Wall of Flesh is the one that starts hard mode. Yep. We can't do the other boss right now, so we don't have a choice. <laughs> we, can, we, can, we can either wait 15 minutes and do Skeletron, or we can start working on a wall. Oh, right, because the the goblin army. <sighs> yeah, okay. Uh, nighttime is the only time we can kill Skeletron, so we have to wait for that as well. Uh, and, and I think this is our... I, I'm predicting the time to be like 140 now. I, I do. I have not done Slime King, but I'm wearing the crown right now for Slime King. Uh, so all I have to do is get to an altar, which will be really easy. Um, get to an altar, and then while we fight Skeletron, we'll do King Slime. Good eye, though, chat. I appreciate you, you keep an eye on that. Because if I forgot about it, it'd be sad. <laughs> Every, I love that. I appreciate... Okay, you know what I love is that when people are just as passionate about Terraria for me. When you know more about Terraria for me, I love it. I really strongly encourage backseat gaming. I, it's got a really negative connotation, I suppose. Um, like backseat driving, I guess, whatever. Uh, but I, I think that it is maybe the best part of being here on Twitch. Um, it is... It is like it's really the interactivity of it is... Say that again? Like the sundial stuff at AGDQ? Yeah, that, guy, that person knew what they were talking about. Yeah, they're like, yes, you only have 19 gel. We'll get Unamas from these lava slimes. That'll be fine, I think. Good, good spot again, though. See, it, there's so many inventory. You want? Know I don't want to make a B. There's so many, so much inventory and stuff like that. That really having a chat can be pretty helpful if you are responsive to it. Okay. I think the big thing with backseat gaming is it really just depends on the person. Some people mm -hmm. really dislike it. Some people have fun with it. It's context sensitive too, and intent sensitive also. Like if I get a message just like aggressive to me, I'm much more likely to respond negatively. I, tr I try never to be negative, but it's it, it, it'd be like that sometimes. Uh, and so the intent of the person's matters. Like if, if a person says, hey, don't help me, then I think you need to take that and be willing to do that. Like don't help that person. I personally, this is weird, I guess. I personally never help anybody. Even if they're asking for help, I want to see you suffer. All right. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not great with it. I was next to the lady who shouted triple zero that caused Badger to fall out of the chair. <laughs> I remember hunging her, Dance Dad. That was a really sweet lady. Uh, do you remember her name, Dance? Did you talk to her at all? Because I would like to know more information about her. Uh, her and Justin really stood out to me. Uh, Justin was a uh, son of one of the viewers in the audience, and he specifically came down from the hotel room in GDQ to watch Terraria get run. That was... Okay, I, I mean, it's very touching that that was a thing that actually happened. It was... I mean... It... It's really hard to put into words how impactful it is to know that there are, you know, kids watching the content and loving it. Like it, it, because that, that's what that was me. 
I mean, I'm, I'm sure that's uh, that was a lot of you when you were kids, you know, growing up watching YouTube. Some, some people were growing up watching Twitch. Like, I, I was inspired by other content creators to do content myself. And for a long time, I thought that I couldn't do it. Like, I wasn't cut out for it or I, I didn't know the skills and I was too scared to do it. Jared, thanks for the, the gift subs. I appreciate it. Uh, and then I guess one day I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And I, I started trying it out. And I, I realized that I absolutely love it. Uh, and, I, and I want more people to feel that way too. Like maybe Justin, I, I think he was maybe seven. Uh, maybe Justin, one day he's going to be making YouTube videos. He's going to be next Poodle or something like that, you know? Yeah, I, I grew up uh, watching YouTube. Yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't grow up. I was, I was, uh, I was an adult, I suppose, legally. By the time I was watching YouTube, I wasn't a kid. Uh, well, I, I mean, well, hmm, actually, yeah, I guess I was just barely an adult when I started watching YouTube. I think I was like 18 when I started watching YouTube. And it was just kind of YouTube poop at the time. It was, uh, was kind of weird, random oh, stuff. And, and Yeah, yeah, I know, right? YouTube That's poop. everyone's reflection to, like, the weird, random Weeble. I'm called Badger because of Weeble. I started falling in love with Badgers because he made Badger, 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 oh Badger, God. Mushroom, Mushroom, right? Like That's, that's... before YouTube poops. That's, <laughs> like, random Flash movie nonsense on websites. Newgrounds, I remember being in love with. Uh, man, so so that stuff inspired me, and that's why I'm here, really. That's why we're here on GDQ right now. 1.5 million followers on this channel, I'm pretty sure. Hanging out, relaxing, shooting some b-ball up to no good. Making trouble in my neighborhood. <laughs> uh, trying to hope for a, a voodoo doll here, really. Okay, so this is, we talked about this during G ADQ. Uh, this is a stage of the game where we're hoping for a very particular spawn. That is the voodoo doll. Uh, the voodoo doll is just a modifier to that enemy right there, the demon. Uh, but if I have a small attachment, and what that will allow us to do is spawn the boss that leads us into the next stage of the game. Here's what I... Oh, hey, gravitation potion. Uh, he, wow, it's distracted. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, welcome to my stream. I get distracted a lot. Why don't runners use invisibly sorting button for navigating the inventory? Some do. Um, it's, it's a bit funky. The way that it sorts is kind of at odds with the way that I like to sort it. So I kind of do my own thing. And I've, I've had a little bit of trouble, honestly, adjusting to that Silver Darken. But I, I think it would be reasonable to use the sort. Uh, there's also a runner by the name of Mingishu who pioneered using chests to auto-sort um, and stuff like that. And Max Overpower has picked that up as well. Uh, so so the, I think that's a great observation in my play that I don't use the sorting enough. I don't use the auto-stack. I don't use chests at all in my play. I think this is good enough for a walkway. We really need to get the drop. Right, do I need one more gel still? Wait, did these guys uh, drop not drop gel? Oh my god, I learned a thing today. 4.6,000 hours, by the way. 7,000 hours. A lot of times so, do not drop gel. Well, one of the things uh, I've noticed here is that, of course, you're looking for the voodoo doll, but you're doing something else in preparation for this fight. I don't think we've gone over that yet. Well, why do you need this really long arena for the wall of flesh? The wall of flesh is a cool boss in Terraria. Like, like super cool. It, it is very different than other bosses in that it has, so most of the bosses are like DPS checks or um, survivability checks. Checks. Wall of Flesh is a, uh, so it ensures this a little bit. Wall of Flesh is a DPS and a time check at the same time. Because what it does is it moves from right to left in the world. And it, if it gets a hold of you, it'll do a ton of damage and it will prevent you from getting away. It'll actually grab you and put it and put you in front of it. So there's only one, as soon as a, the wall flesh respawn, there's only one direction you can move from then on. And that, that makes this boss... Um, whoa, that's silt. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> I'm scared myself. <laughs> well, that was weird. Uh, this makes this boss, like, very um, very scary, honestly. I, I, I find that even really experienced runners have trouble with that mechanic. So this walkway in particular is so that we can fight. This is the arena, effectively. Uh, also, oh my god, I went the wrong way. Uh, normally, I would go to uh, the jungle, but I messed up here. What do you think of Calamity? Calamity was awesome, man. Uh, I think that Calamity adds so many cool things to the game that it is... <gasps> yes, hello. Yes, please. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back home. We're going to kill Skeletron. No, oh god, I got one right in front of again. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go over to Skelly Bob. Get ready for his fight. Yeah, it. yeah. Okay. It's like the third time we've forgotten about the goblins so I know. far. <laughs> I'm just gonna go home. It's gonna be safe. Goblin army's like, yo, what's up? How you doing? How you been? Uh, we're gonna go kill. We're gonna, we're gonna kill Skeletron now. We'll go kill King Slime real fast, uh, and then we'll we'll finale here. I think that we might end up with a 145 time, is my estimation. And we have the arena. We have the voodoo doll, so that's good to go. We have the dynamite as well. Whoa. That's weird. Um, I had a spirit thing there. I need, I need a gel. Crap. Uh, let's go back up. My bad. This guy and some coffee. Dude, you know, I'm high on life, all right? I, don't, uh, I do have coffee, but I actually 
only have like a cup in the morning. So my coffee is totally worn off now. The, the energy I have, honestly, if, if you really are genuinely curious, it's practice energy. Um, a lot of the time when I'm talking about stuff, I'm not really talking about stuff. Uh, a lot of time I'm actually just reading chat. Uh, and reacting to that. I'm seeing names like Harley, hey, hey, doing. So it's it's uh, one of the GDQ people when watching the run actually mentioned something, and it was very interesting to me that they said this, is this is what happens, this is what they said, this is what happens when you spend a thousand hours in front of a camera talking to yourself. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> this is, it's me, uh, your boy. Uh, I, I don't know, I just, this is what I want to see. This is what entertains me. Like, okay, so... One of the things that I learned early on, sorry, hold on, let me, let me do this question. Sorry if I asked this already. Asking again since it's scrolling quickly. What's your favorite design boss or your favorite boss to fight? Why you gotta ask me hard questions, man? Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, Plantera is beautiful. Moonlord is, is incredible as well. Cultist is so uh, different in its phases. There's This is a hard one, uh, honestly. You can always ask questions again, I, I'll, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what the... Oh. I didn't think about this either. So that there's there's one requirement for Gabos. Uh, the only requirement for Gabos is that there be an NPC around. And in the game code, the old man is an NPC, and the old man is the only thing that uh, allows us to spawn Skeletrons. So we're gonna get attacked by. But he can't be killed, right? Okay. We're gonna get attacked by Gabos over here. So we're just gonna end up having to fight this event. I didn't want to, but we have to clear this out because I cannot fight Gabos and Skeletron at the same time. Not with this HP. Maybe if I had it harder. You can't escape the wall flush by teleporting. Haha, -ha, great sentiment. Uh, what the wall flush actually does is it gives you a buff, a debuff, sorry, uh, called Horrified. And what Horrified does is if you attempt to recall while you have that debuff, it instantly kills you. It, do it doesn't care about your stats. It doesn't, it, it just puts your HP to zero. It's the only mechanic in the entire game that does that. Uh, all of the, all the other ways of doing that actually deal damage to you and are survivable. Wall of Flesh is not. Uh, it is. It was in there to prevent people from doing exactly that recalling. G good idea, though. Uh, I have died a lot of times uh, in a hardcore character in a situation. I love when Wallflesh bugs and, yeah, carries you to the surface. That is not funny, Dizzy. All right, I hate when that happens. It's very dangerous. Uh, yeah, TVB rip. I've, I've lost a lot of hardcore characters to Wallflesh because of that mechanic. See, this is what I, this is what I was talking about. The the fear, the, the, the general anxiety con con made by... You know what? My favorite boss, Toy Wall of Flesh, man. Uh, the, I love the the fact that my after 4.7 thousand hours of playing this game, my heart is still pounding when I'm fighting that boss. It, I, it's it's, it's exhilarating. Also the other effect that spawning the Wall of Flesh kills the guide, and if you mess up that fight, you have to wait for the guide to respawn again. Yep, so and like it has even to be a day for that to happen, and it's totally RNG if it's going to happen. Yeah, that's a great. So Can't even if you could run away, it would be awful on a speed run. Yep, throw back to sword only. Yes, during my expert hardcore sword only run, uh, a voodoo doll fell into the lava milliseconds before I recalled, and I died. And <laughs> Wallflesh followed me to the surface. It was millis. It was frames that we died to. It was, and it was about I want to say like ten hours of work that was gone, coasted. Yeah, we got water bolt there. I'm pretty sick about that too. Sorry. All right. All right. There's, it's just like at. Uh, this is my stream, basically. There's so many things that are going through my head, I can't even talk about them all at the same time. Uh, Warbolt was a great pickup. I actually really like it a lot. It's really good for his brain. Pounding! <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what is that name? Uh, okay. Uh, Gobbles are almost dead? No, they're only 50% dead. Jeez. Uh, I, uh, Wall of Flesh. So yeah, I think Wall of Flesh is what I'll pick. What was I talking about before that? Someone asked me a great question, and I was talking about something cool. Chat, you remember? Seated. We were talking about Wall of Flesh stuff and your favorite boss fights and... Right before that. Before that. <laughs> I don't know, I lost track. Calamity Mod! Yeah! Calamity Mod is what I was talking about. Uh, yeah, so the Calamity Mod adds really amazing stuff to the game. Uh, <laughs> he expects us to keep up. It adds so much cool content, and it's totally free. Uh, if you guys want to check out mods in Terraria, it adds a lot of gameplay value to the game. Uh, you can just go and download something called T-Mod Loader, and T-Mod Loader will give you immediate access to all the mods that are available. It's perfectly safe, really simple to use. That's T-Mod Loader. Uh, so I've played through, and Thorium, I actually know way more about Thorium than I do Calamity. The thing
thing about Calamity is that it is really bordering on like a genuine expansion for the game. I think Thorium is kind of like a it adds a couple cool items Thorium does. Calamity makes it a different game. Like it's a genuine expansion. Hey, safe man, how are you doing? Today? Terraria officials here in chat, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is what I'm talking about. The the Terraria community managers are really influential in their community. They really talk to you. App appearing here, uh, I would not be surprised if Stenix shows up. Uh, Red, one of the developers, also has showed up in streams as well. But thanks for being here. Seriously, thanks for making such a cool game. All the mod links and info you need on the for forums and the community is super helpful. The forums are probably the best resource. Uh, the quickest and easiest resource I can direct you to for all your Terraria information, finding friends to play with, finding about mods. You can at me there if you want to and ask me questions. It's discord.gg forward slash Terraria. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That discord is actually the sixth most active discord server in the whole world. And it has the highest amount of chatters in the whole world. It's pretty epic, actually. So to put that in perspective, it's beating Fortnite. It's beating Apex Legends. It's beating Minecraft in its chat activity. Tari has one of the most alive and vivid communities ever for a video game, maybe? It's pretty insane. Uh, Pipeworks does a really insanely good job of uh, making events and interacting with the community. So every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, yes, we kill the boss. Yay. Um, so this is the time I take part in a stream that's hosted by Terraria themselves, and they go over community content. They specifically highlight new content creators. They they try to, I mean, look at all the things that the incredible community uh, in Terraria is doing and show them off. It's that's you know That's part of their mythology to embrace their community and work with them. And I, I mean, there's a lot of developers out there that release their game, and they're like, okay, thanks. I hope you enjoy. And I'm not, I'm not trying to you know, I'm not calling anybody out on this. It's just amazing. Oh, okay. Here, 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 put this in perspective. Here we go. Terraria released eight years ago. Okay. It has had total game overhauls that have changed the game so much, and not a penny has been ever charged. All of it has always been free. Eight years of development, and they haven't asked for a single cent. Who the heck does that? What gaming development company does that? It, it seems crazy. Like, when I when I learned about that, I was I I went out and told them, hey, maybe you should do DLC. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, may, maybe you could you know charge a fiver for this DLC you worked on uh, for two years. They've been working on 1.3 for like more than two years now, and it's just gonna come out. Minecraft does the same. Isn't that amazing that they do that? Uh, you know you know what's really cool, Nemesis, is that Minecraft and Terraria both have references to one another. I do like Terraria, you know. <laughs> Does Shovel Knight do that also? I, for eight years? May, may, I, I'm believing. Path of Exile might do it too. Shovel Knight, I theirs love... was part of the uh, the Kickstarter. Like the oh, whole, the, the, the extra content was like stretch goals for Shovel Knight. Mm, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I remember that. Seems like a small area. I think it's good. I think I, I measure it with my eyes. My eyes are good. <laughs> you want to come over here, Bands? I'll give you the, the, the mouse, Bands, if you want to. You can hold the keyboard. I can, I can put you on my lap. Fans of Legends a multi world record holder for this game, by the way. <laughs> so <laughs> he, he does know what he's talking about. Uh, actually, you know what, Fans? You were the very first person I saw do this strat. I, I just remembered that. You're right. You and Kurt0815 invented this strategy, didn't you? That's insane. Uh, thanks, bro. I appreciate you. I've been using it for years now. <laughs> yeah, and you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, I love devs who are super community involved. Same, strong. Same. It, it just it just wouldn't be the same without the amazing people like uh, Whitney and and uh, Amanda. Like they they really do incredible stuff over there. It's great. So, uh, big pleasure being on the GDQ channel. Thanks for inviting me, real quick. It means a lot. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun having you. What are you doing to the King Slime's AI right now? Because uh, his teleport isn't working. <laughs> he doesn't like it when you're on a rail. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's really glitchy. Uh, he doesn't like ropes either. Uh, sometimes he'll jump on platforms. He's he's a he's a cute boy. He's a little ah yeah yeah. But uh, we don't really. He's he's a uh, he's a nice guy. <laughs> he's got a good personality. <laughs> he's not a very hard boss though. Oh slimy saddle. Oh my god. I just had a a, a recall for getting the slimy First saddle try. in AGDQ. First try, right? That's so cruel to have the slimy saddle. So we're behind on time now. My PB is one twenty three. Uh, when we complete this, never made bean nades. Do we have bean nades in our inventory? Oh no. Vance, do the run for me. Wait, hold on. Where is the. Oh no. Okay, yes. I'm gonna keep this. Or I'll jump. No, I want my boots on. Hi, chat. Hope you're having a great day today. Thanks for coming by GDQ. Welcome to Badger ASMR, where today we're gonna be killing a Skeletron. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll call on the run. No ASMR, I don't like it! 
It's bad for me. Wait, uh, I need to do a couple things here before we get killed. Uh, I hope, I hope you guys are okay with that. I, I do a lot of um, voice changing. I, I like, I really like having uh, different tones a lot. Um, I, I move around a lot too. If I was on camera right now, um, I'm still moving around a lot. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. Okay, so this arena that we have set up here is really interesting in that it is super RNG. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, dang it, I missed. Hold on. Okay, let's do that. This arena is really interesting because it's super RNG. Okay, there we go. Uh, basically, what's going to happen here is we're going to try to manipulate your boy, Skelly, to not slap us in the face. Um, and if we get lucky, he won't. If we, if we are sad, he will kill us. Um, I, I initially started running Terraria very seriously using this strat and also Star Fury. Uh, it was really cool. Like, it took a lot of precision timing, but now we have this Meteor Spin, so it's fine. Okay, we are, we are going to be behind. This is, this is going to be happening. 145 is my expectation, so hopefully we can nail that. Okay, Skeletron. Uh, pretty much... Uh, people pretty much say that this is the hardest boss in Expert. He has a massive difference between him and Normal Mode and him and Expert, and his, his attacks normally are very hard to memorize because they're long timers. Uh, they're tones, you know? Is your mother so? Get her to sew that tones. Sew tones. Uh, <laughs> she wasn't saying distracted. You were Maybe explaining Skeletron stuff. So he, he's one of the toughest bosses a lot of time, but this strategy kind of makes him move in such a way that makes him act funky, sort of. It, it, it's it's really his biggest weakness is if you can move in circles. <laughs> so we very slowly over time. <gasps> oh my god! It actually happened! G G Primordial called it! This there is an opportunity in Terraria at any point for a star to fall down and kill damage, and it actually hit the hand! It actually destroyed it in one shot! What the heck? <laughs> Chat. Chat straight up called it! What in the world? I read it and then I saw the star coming! Clip! <laughs> So that, that it can just happen in Terraria, <laughs> that stars can fall out of the sky and they deal damage to, to enemies that they hit. Actually, you said deal damage to players. Uh, they deal damage to enemies they hit. They do a ton of damage. There has been a couple war records that... Yes! Okay, we have the hands down. There's been a couple war records that were set because of star RNG. Now, this is going to speed up our run quite a bit. That was a, a thousand damage dealt to the hand, which would reduce the armor on the head. That was, that's what I was explaining. So the, the Skeletron in extra mode has a different, couple different mechanics. He fires homing skulls. You can see them firing them now. Uh, he's a slappy boy. He also gives in, it gets increased defense. Oh, oh there's always a second star. What is this? He that was so defense. close. I know it's so close. He gets increased <laughs> defense uh, when he has his hands up. Oh my god, super cam! Thanks for gifting a sub out. You're amazing. Thanks for supporting GDQ. That is crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, where's Boomstick at? Yeah, let me get Boomstick out. This is way better than Space Gun right now. Seated, confirmed. <laughs> uh, so, so we have to knock down the ha the hands if our damage is low enough that uh, we can't pierce the armor. So you can actually do this in hard mode with some uh, the terror developers are helping you uh, with, with some uh, better weapons and just skip the hands. But since we don't have great damage, we don't want it to be reduced massively by every time. Uh, so people have trouble with the the homing skulls. They have trouble with the bleed effect, and they have trouble with how uh, knockback works. In that the knockback when Skeletron hits you with his head, which does massive damage, uh, it keeps you in his he he row row. It keeps you in his head, and he'll he'll like stun lock you basically. It's he doesn't technically have a stun, but because of that move, it's very similar to what you would experience with a stun. And you have to keep your cool in milliseconds and make decisions about how you're going to get out of it without messing up. Because if you try to shield dash, it's going to give you an iframe, and you're going to take damage. If if you just try to wait it out, you're probably going to die. Um, probably the best method is usually hooking or recalling. But then they start incoming foggies. Okay, so after this, we've killed all the bosses. All we have is wall of flesh. Like I said, Wall of Flesh is boss fire tool. Wall of Flesh is really my. I'm, I don't know. My heart's gonna be pounding. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now. If you aren't stoked for Waffle, get there because it's gonna be sorry. Wall of Flesh. I call it Waffle. Waffle Copter. Uh, I just like food. Who else likes food? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know who you guys. I just, I'm down with food. <laughs> it just, anyways. Uh, so it's. I'm. I'm excited to get down there and do it because we don't have much. Actually, we're gonna be way faster than I thought because of this nice suit. Okay, send the boss down. The boss fights the dust. Uh, we could go into the dungeon, but we're good. Let's see if we can get more bee nades. I thought the bee nades were here. Bee nades, please. Oh, <gasps> da na na na. Puppy power. Okay. Oops. Let's click. 
So you made them and then you just left them on the ground? Uh, so the, some get dropped and some get... Um, so the bands wants me to take the remaining beeswax, which is a material dropped by Queen Bee that can be used to craft a couple items. Uh, if you combine that with grenades, which you can buy from the demo man, you can actually make more bee nades, and that's what he wanted me to do. Okay. But yeah, I actually did leave them on the ground. I mean, they're like a crucial item for the run. I left them there. Hey, Dryad. This is my girlfriend, by the way. She's cute. I like her a lot. She's very yeah, yeah. Oh, can I? Can, I don't know if this. Oh, I can't. I can't do my normal thing. Sorry. I would normally zoom in on her, but uh, <laughs> I can't. Anyways, okay. Let's go. Let's go kill Waffle. This is uh. Wait. I mess it up. Nice. Chat, yeah, yeah. Chat. So in GDQ, you weren't doing an expert run, and uh, you were able to just dynamite the wall of flesh. Super easy. So simple, right? It looked really easy. That's because the wall of flesh doesn't have the effects that um, it has an expert, where very much like the Queen Bee, it gets increased armor, increased movement, and massively increased damage. It goes from doing 10 damage to 200 damage, it feels like. I'm not sure what the stats on that. Uh, so it's, it's again, the, the fight doesn't really happen with wall of flesh until it's in the 10%. Uh, so today, to put this in perspective, I lost. Uh, slime out would still make me take fall damage, so I'm very uh, nervous about using it because uh, it makes you fall super fast, and that can cause you to just get killed really quickly. I don't like it. it makes me sad. Uh, so I usually don't use it unless I have a uh, fall damage resist. Uh, so put this in perspective. Earlier today, I did, was doing practice runs uh, live on my channel, Twitch.tv forward slash Badger, where I'm live every day except for Wednesday, Thursdays at noon CDT or 6 p.m. Green Green Greenwich Mean Time. GMT. If you wanted to check that out, appreciate it. Uh, we died three times, question mark, chat, uh, to all of flesh when it had less than 1% HP Ooh. because it does so much damage and goes so quickly. Uh, it's very, oh, hey, why don't I have this? So it's very possible that this entire run is going great. This is a war record submission because there is no other war records in the, in the, on the board right now for this run because it's so hard. Uh, we could just lose it here. And, and like Rokun said earlier, if we, we die here, we have to wait for... Um, what was it? Battle Pond Department? Where? No, wait. I don't care. <laughs> I got it all. <laughs> Jumanji debated me. Greenwich Meridian time. Is that what it is? GMT. I don't know. I, I, I always get confused. I'm not great at time zones. Okay. I believe in you. I don't. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's kill this guy and we're going to do it. A lot of places okay. use uh, UTC now instead of GMT, the mm. Universal I... Coordinated Time. All geese, let's do that instead from now on. All right, here's Waffle Copter. So you can see three sections on Waffle. He has, uh, whoa, well, that was close already. Okay, we're getting spicy. Uh, he has got three sections. He's got the two eyes that fire laser beams uh, when they can see you. And he has a mouth, which does insanely high, hey, quite battle uh, Insanely high melee damage. Now what we want to do with Dynamite and why it's so powerful is Dynamite's explosion range is really high. And also it does a lot of damage, which pierces the armor. This is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna have a second stack. This is a timing minigame, effectively, where I have to... He's hurt. He's hurt. He's low. I gotta move fast. I'm hitting him. I'm missing. I'm missing. You can hear it. Yes! That's time, right? That's time, right? Badger? Did Badger die? Badger, you muted yourself. I mean, oh my god, I did not mute myself. <laughs> I hit my keyboard so hard, chat, I muted myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing the biggest pop-off! Holy moly, we freaking did it, ladies and gentlemen! A expert, all bosses, pre-hard mode, no glitches, 132, that is the world record submission, because there is no submissions. Professional streamer, by the way, we killed it. Wall of Flesh, Queen Bee, I like how you knew that I was muted, he's like, he's not talking. I looked here, I in Discord just to make sure you didn't disconnect, and I saw the mute I, icon. I slapped my my split so hard because I just had my own timer up. I slapped my split so hard that I hit my I fat finger and my mute. <laughs> Thank you, Vance. <laughs> Thanks for being here. You're amazing. World record set live on stage at GDQ. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this. You're incredible. We, oh we had goodness. zero successful runs earlier today. Zero. Literally not a single one succeeded. <laughs> so we perfect. Yay! Yay, chat. Yay! Uh, wow. Roken, how you doing? I'm doing alright. <laughs> I, I think what you were trying to explain is that uh, dynamite doesn't explode on contact. So you just mm. gotta, you gotta time out throwing them really far in advance because they've got a really long fuse. You get a little and bit. On to right, exactly. Nailed it. And on top of that, since his speed increases as you hit, you have to slowly move farther and further away from him to get the hits in. 
That's the really scary part. That's why the last little bit is. Bless Run. Thank you very much, Bob. I appreciate it a ton. Uh, Mitch Riccone, Blue Jay, good to see you here. Raguni, Gimbayo, Ayor, Hey Diggs, Primordial, Drakey, 15807-1251. Long time viewer of my channel. Thanks, bro. Grodo, Captain JT Kirk, Super Cam. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. Thank you very much, fans. How are you not getting timed out, fans? Uh, well, first time being here, first time watching Batters, still clapping away IRL. Yeah! Thanks, Fiona. I appreciate you. Press on the workout. Thank you, Super Cam. Tep said, not working because backseat gaming with rubies and stuff. What? Backseat gaming is fine. <laughs> it's too late. Nice job, Badger. Thank you, Corefish. I appreciate it. He he ro. He he ro ro. Do the star dance. Yeah, good call. I'll do the star oh dance. Oh, my God. We did it. Uh, if, you re if you red chat me, if you at Badger me, uh, then I, I, I want to see what you have to say. Thank you so much, everybody. Some orbs in chat. Bold percent. Um, next time we come back, I'm hoping to do a longer run. I would love to do a six-plus hour run. <laughs> slash, four slash bomb mod mood lord. Get out of here, bands. Uh, I would love to do a six-hour run for you all. I would love to be on here longer. Uh, we, we, can, we can chill for a couple of minutes. Uh, I, would, I would love to talk about a couple things for Terraria speedrunning. Terraria speedrunning is growing, all right? We have a so, we've had more submissions recently after GDQ than we've ever had in the history of Terraria. If you want to get into Terraria speedrunning, hit me up. Let me know. Be part of my life. Streaming is my full-time job. I love doing it. I love doing it. It, it, is, it is the dream job for me. Being here, being part of the community, easy easy to beat PB now. See, that's that's how I make the content there, Jonker. That's that's what's up. That's really where it's all about. All right. See, you know what's up. That's why that's why I die during my hardcore runs because really. So I died all day today. All right, I'm gonna give you the deal. I died all day today, faking. Okay. <laughs> it was it was not. We didn't kill Akram Bands. Oh my God, you're right. We didn't kill Akram. Akram is the boss that was removed from the game. <laughs> uh, so uh, we actually um and and we're making the game harder too right now. Uh, 1.4 is gonna be dropping this year. So uh, it's your chance to do one, two, point three runs. But actually, what's going to happen with one point four? It's going to be so much more difficult to run the game. So you got to brush up. Uh, we'll, one, I would love. Oh yeah, T-span. That's uh, that is something that I would love to do. One point four is coming out. It's introduced to doing a new difficulty level that was designed for me. I'm taking it. I'm saying that it's not true, <laughs> but it was it was made wow. because people were beating um, hardcore fairly easy this we're a run's done go pc we're, we we knocked it out all pre-harm of bosses expert unseated no major abuses uh slash glitches akram is not on console anymore no yoshi it was removed um it was i it, i think i'm pretty sure because of some copyright stuff that happened over there death boat speedrun calamity speedruns are a thing calamity mod speedruns are a thing they are on our main board in fact hi lethal savage my name is william uh, you can call me badger i like to play uh Action adventure games, strategy games. I am a challenge runner and a speed runner. I'm live every day on my channel set for Wednesdays, Thursdays at noon CDT, 6 p.m. UTC. Yeah, cool. Uh, what was the thing? Calamity runs. Yeah, so Calamity runs are part of the same board on there. They're techni oh, technically hardcore, no deaths. Oh my God, you're right. We did get deathless. Oh my God. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure someone in my stream actually promised me a sub if I went deathless. I didn't even do it on purpose. Like it wasn't a big deal. These are two things for the, the laugh. I appreciate it a ton. Wow. <sighs> What a, what a rush. I can't believe I muted myself. Best pop off, by the way. <laughs> muted. Wolfman, thanks for being here, dog. I appreciate you. I'm still on Legacy console. I was console. so worried because you just vanished. I was like, oh no, what happened? <laughs> what a big fail. It's pro streamer, by the way. Full-time job. Hey, Dryad. How are you today? It's good to see you. I would love to... I, I would. So during my stream, I do all kinds of weird stuff during speed runs. I would love to zoom in on this character so you can just see. I can't, I can't really do it on this setup. We have a very clean setup here. For this deal, yeah. Hey, pup time. How you so, doing? Uh, like, I was switched on 2019. You were the talking about fight, calamity yes. mode stuff. Oh, calamity mod. Yes, man. I get so distracted. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I have like a, yeah, this is a thing. I don't have like ADHD or anything like that. I just get I just get so wrapped up in chat. Chat is so engaging. What's your most memorable experience? Oh my god, I did it again. Calamity mod. <laughs> so if you want to run calamity mod, uh, you can do so. It is part of the main boards. We really encourage calamity. Hectech X is a, a partner Twitch streamer. You can check him out at twitch.tv forward slash Hectech X. Uh, it's really hard to spell. Maybe someone in chat could help. I can't even spell it. Uh, come on, fool's chancy. Be kind, man. <laughs> but come on. <laughs> uh, you can check him out. He's He knows all about it. He does runs. He has a really good YouTube channel you can find as well. Uh, you can hit that up. You forgot World Record Holder now. Oh, yeah. I'm a war I mean, I've, I've, ha I've held World Records in Terraria since 2015 is when I started running. 2016. Oh, yeah, I want to say pretty quickly. I, I'm actually hearing the follows coming through. I really appreciate everyone who follows the channel. Uh, so Okay, so let me tell you a little background on me and how I ended up here today. Uh, I applied for a run at Awesome Games Done Quick. Um, I had never done a speed run in a live event before. I had never done an interview before. I had never been in front of an live audience. Uh, I, had, I have not really... This is a distraction. Hey, Rockle. Uh, <laughs> crap, it works. No! <laughs> I never... Oh, no! <laughs> 
I fell for it. Uh, I never, oh I've never been to a landfill. I never participated in a GDQ before. Uh, and and w- when I came home, actually, even before I came home, the very first day that we were running, the response to it was so insane that it actually increased my follower count by 16%. Uh, in March, I'll have been streaming for five years. In one day, in eight hours, effectively, GDQ community enjoyed the run so much. They enjoyed the Terraria speed run so much that they increased the the impact that I had. The impact of the eight hours was 16% of the impact that I had for the last four years. What? I, it, so uh, that that's kind of how I ended up here. Totally unknowing what it was going to be like. Just it has been insane. The Judo community, community's reaction to Terraria speedrunning has been so positive and seeing more speedrunners. Oh, I'm looking good. At it. There's Max Overpower in chat right there. Multiple world record holder. Best, in my opinion, Terraria speedrunner, period. Uh, he he's insane. He also streams on his channel, twitch.tv slash Max Overpower. He lives in Russia. He would love to make a full time streaming job out of uh, what? I just full time job out of full time streaming job out of what? What was that? Even? Does that even English? <laughs> uh, full time job out of streaming. So if you would re- if I would really really appreciate you checking out his channel on Saturday. This Saturday we're gonna have what's today Monday? Yeah, this Saturday Max is gonna be on my channel running best speed runner, and I'm gonna be doing the commentary. Mm-hmm. Best commentary. So, so that's something that I, that I really love to do with other speedrunners. If you become a speedrunner and you start submitting runs, I will definitely put you on my channel. We can showcase your run. Instafiz YT was also here earlier. He got timed out. Uh, he's also done that as well. That Max is really incredible. I'm a big fan of Max too. A person thirteen. Go go follow his channel. I'd appreciate that a lot. I'm hearing the follows coming to my channel. It's just insane. Thank you so much, GDQ. Seriously, you're incredible. Real quick, thanks for having me. I'm waiting to hear about Clammy Mod. Right, Clammy Mod. <laughs> Clammy Mod is a mod that adds a ton of new content to the game. Uh, it adds a ton of new bosses, and it's really, really awesome. But actually, the thing that I like about Clammy Mod is the jams, baby. It's got really good music. Like, it has some of the best music I've ever heard in my life. It has their own com- composers. <laughs> Uh, so it, the climate is definitely worth your time checking out, and it is on the boards. Uh, it doesn't have a no major abuses category. It only has a glitch category right now. Also, uh, we're interested in having mobile runners and console runners. So if you're interested in doing that, we're, we've never had someone submit a mobile or console run. So if you want to do so, you have an opportunity to forge ahead on mobile and console runs uh, and to, to have your own category because we'll work on you. Who's who's your favorite composer in it? Oh, I just got called out. Uh, I don't know their names, man. <laughs> uh, they, they, but they do a lot of really good work over there. Uh, they're 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 really great. Uh, John Court, did I forget? Your gift? Thank you so much for gifting us up. Uh, it's I apologize if I miss everything. I want to catch everything. It's actually one of the things that I really try to do is read everyone's chat because. I never want to feel like have. Oh my god! I'm sorry, Rokun. Do you have anything to do? We're good, right? <laughs> We're good for now. I'm just I'm waiting to poke you about final thoughts pretty soon. Okay. All right. You. You. As soon as you are ready, you let me know. I will talk to this chat for eight hours. All right. So just please don't. You, know you need to sleep. I do. That's true. Oh my god! I'm so amped right now. God, my heart is pounding. What's my heart rate? I wonder. I have my Fitbit on. I could check. Sixty nine. Oh yeah. No, it's eighty eight. Uh, I made that up. Sorry. Wow. Uh, if, if anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I didn't say. Uh, there is so much energy. I tell you what, like I said, SD, SD1, the, the thing about it is that I love doing this. It is a passion for me. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Nice. <laughs> it is a passion for me. So it's it, this, I love this. This makes me happy. It, 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 it puts me in a place. You all make my life better every day. That's what I say. Like it's the, having a Twitch, having, uh, all the friends that I made here, you are my family. I had a biological family. They aren't part of my life anymore, and I'm I'm really happy to have you all as my family, really. That that's that's where I'm at. So the energy here is because I love it. I love you too. I love you so much. <laughs> you want final thoughts, Trail Kid? So if somebody wanted to get started on Terraria speedrunning, where would they go to get the resources they need to get started? Okay, lots of things. Uh, first one is the 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 most obvious, speedrun.com forward slash Terraria. There's lots of resources there in the forums. You can post there. Uh, you can you can ask for information there. There's lots of information. The rules are probably the first thing that you want to read. Number two, and th- this is just a personal policy that I have, you can always, 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 always send me a direct message on Discord. My DMs are open. My Twitter DMs are open. My whispers are open. You want to hit me up, I will respond, period, end of story, especially if you have a question about Terraria speedrunning. The, the thing after that is this Terraria speedrunning Discord. It is the single largest compendium of knowledge of Terraria speedrunners. My only thing there is that they are... Hey, Slime, don't try to me. 
My only thing there is that they are um, abrasive. Uh, they, they are very, very smart. So you might have some trouble getting what you want out of there. <laughs> but, th but it's really good. They will 100% answer your question beyond maybe your own understanding because they are so good at Terraria. There's modders in there. There's runners in there. There's viewers in there. It's, 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 it's a pretty great place. Those are the three things I would do. Contact me, speedrun.com forward slash Terraria. And on speedrun.com forward slash Terraria is the link to the Discord in there as well and the resources. Great question. Rilkin. Can we get some IIA in chat for Rilkin? He's He's been amazing. <laughs> He has really been a huge help. He set me up all this. He met with me last night. I forgot about our meeting. <laughs> and then and then he, he helped with all setting this up, all the audio stuff and all, all, all that stuff. Thank you so much, Roken, for being part of this. No problem. Thanks for being here. It was a lot of fun. Was uh, it? I do have... It was a lot of fun, Badger. <laughs> you don't have to doubt yourself like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 